Hello, oh look at this, Adrian Morley, you're first again. Hello, Adrian Morley. Daniel Bale, how you doing, Daniel? Got some beers over there, look, from Daniel. Um, Get up there, sorry, to, let's have a banger tonight, fella. Smash the likes and smash. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course, where are we? What is the record? What is the record for 100 likes? I've, I've forgotten all about it. I haven't even opened my beer. i got the kettle boiling. we got to do craft beer ladies tea. What's the record for 100 likes? Daniel Bale, what's the record for 100 likes? Is it like two minutes something? Two minutes something for 100 likes. Come on, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Hit the like button down below. 33 people in, 58 people in, 17 likes. 17 likes, what is the record? Two minutes. We got 51 minutes, exactly one minute to get 75 likes. Hello, Steve Eats, how are you doing, my friend? Hello, everybody, Darren. Let's see if we can beat that record. We got 50 seconds, Alan Mead in with the first Super Chat of the Night, £2.29. Thank you very much, Alan. Alan Mead is saying, hit that like button, can we do it? We got 40 seconds to hit 59 likes. Can we do it? We might be a bit away a, a way off today, but hey ho, it doesn't matter. 100 people tuned in, 46. We got 30 seconds to go. Come on, we can do it. We got 30 seconds to go. We got 56 likes. 46 likes to go. 58 likes. We got 20 seconds. We got 20 seconds. There's a like button down there. 19 seconds. There's a like button down there. Hit the like button. Let's see if we can do it in under two minutes. We got just under 10 seconds. 70 likes. 70 likes. Let's do it, everybody. 76. We got six seconds to go. Four, three. Hit the like button down below. Two, one. It might still be a record because it was, it was two minutes and something. Come on, let's do 100 likes. Hit the like button down below. 86 likes. We can fly this, we can floor this, 92 likes, we're nearly there, 92 likes, 93 likes, hit the like button down below, let's get the Stone Crow roaring tonight, 93 likes, hit the like button down below, 95 likes, flooring it, foot to the floor tonight, I haven't even seen if my hair was combed before we come on tonight, 98 likes, 98 likes, hit the like button down below, Whew. 101 likes, 101 likes and 150 people in. I'm like this kettle. I'm like this blooming kettle, yeah, I'm boiling. 100 likes, two minutes, we did it everyone. 107 likes, we're still going. We're still going. Whew. Shall I introduce my beer? Who's, who's, who's having a chat with me today then? Keith, Simon, do you have any bars but extra strong? <laughs> I need it after doing that. New record for sure. Taylor Ben, I think probably something of a record. It is incredible. We went into it absolutely flying. It was just over two minutes, two minutes 30. It's not bad. It's not bad going. Oof. Kramer versus Kramer. I'm washed there. Um, cheers, all of us. Should be on, on my phone more than ready for some beers. Cheers, Anthony. Spitfire, Callum, The Hog. Daniel Bale, I didn't make the record last time as I was in work. Morning from Sydney, how are you doing tonight? Evening all, um, in my new pub, converted garage, sinking a gozer, Michael Dobbs. A gosser, oh yeah, have you got the Blade gosser or the Perfect Draft gosser? It's a lovely beer, it really is a lovely beer. What's on the beer menu tonight, says Jockey. Good question, having a goose eye PA. Cheers, Simon. Keep it hoppy. Right, where are you from and what are you drinking? Where are you from tonight? What are you drinking? Come on, comment. I had a little sit down. Six o'clock, I sat down. Done all the dishes and whatnot. I had a little sit down. I thought, let's compose yourself. You've been going at it all day hard. Chasing around all these Christmas meals. <laughs> to review. Let's calm down for an hour. Have a sit down and compose yourself. Brussels drinking Grimbergen. Oakham IPA. Hertog Jan in, in Wrexham. Lord's Brewing Company. Hello everyone. Stone the Crows. How are we doing Lord's Brewing Company? Salford. Peroni. Verdant. Edinburgh. Kent drinking Welly. Got my shop a shoot new. Oh, I got one of them for, 
for Craft Beer Lady, a courtesy of Daniel Bale, a shoe by PA. Um, thank you very much to the Lord's Brewing Company for the super chat. Really appreciate appreciate that. 195 people in. We're flying, flying back to a normal Tuesday night. Back to a normal Tuesday night. I like doing the interviews. I like doing the interviews. It's good fun. Um, but for some reason, we, we the, the views are not there. The, the views are not there for um, the interviews. It's a bit of a shame, but we got an Adnams. We got Fergus from Adnams coming on the 9th. The 8th, Tuesday the 8th of December, we got Fergus from Adnams. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Corona beer. Um, I, had it in a, I had it in the perfect draft. We had a load of it Friday night. It's wet. It's wet. It's not the most flavoursome. I, I've opened... Um, I got John's beers over here from Lord's Brewing Company. Let me put this hot water in the um, in the thing a minute. Craft beer lady won't have any tea otherwise. Get that in there. Turn that on. Here we are. Job done. I always put a bit of water back in the kettle because I'll probably blow the thing up if I didn't. Right. I'm going to show off John's beers, so, um, going to get these reviewed soon on the channel. So these are available at Lord's Brewing Company's website, um, probably any minute now, or, or even now, give them a try. Um, Hopper Grass, um, Super Session IPA, that's fantastic. That's a fantastic beer. Drunken Taylor Pills now. I had a whole keg of that. <laughs> smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. That's a terrific beer. Um, Handbook Session IPA. Lovely looking tropical kind of look to that beer. And the beer, the beer that I'm going to be drinking tonight. I've, I've opened up a talking head because I didn't know if John was going to be on straight away. So I thought, let's just get a... I'm firing it all over myself. Let's get a, a Talking Head American Pale Ale out first. Um, I picked this up at the Little Beer Festival. It's very nice. Williams Brothers are so up and down. They're so up and down. They can produce really good beers like this. And then the next thing you know, they're producing terrible stuff. Um, but they always seem to... Re release the terrible stuff into Aldi. Anyway, Lowe's Brewing Malamut Session IPA. We got a couple of cans of this. I got them in the fridge, cooling down. Cooling down in the fridge is the Malamut. So I asked you all, what we, where are you from? What are you drinking? Let me know in the comments. Where are you from? What are you drinking? Absolutely barnstorming start to the night. 216 people in after eight minutes. Uh, what's my favourite beer of all time? That is like a question I get asked all of the time. I had the most amazing, the most amazing Imperial Stout last night. Uh, no, no, one last night. It was um, Sunday night. Sunday night. Most amazing Imperial Stout I've had in a long, long time. It was, it had a picture of a hazelnut. As a head, the person had a hazelnut as a head. It was a hazelnut imperial stout from All In Brewing in Sweden. Oh, it was amazing. It was just like liquid diesel engine oil. And it was just fantastic. I loved it. I'm trying to think of the name of the blooming beer. The bottle's in the recycling. I might go and have a few beers and dig through the recycling later on to see if I can find the... The bottle, but it was fantastic. And um, I tell you what, as a follow-on to this, um, I wasn't going to say anything until it came, but I'm really excited. Um, you know Hakan or Hawkan, as, as he likes to, as his name is pronounced properly. Hawkan has made this massive beer calendar. Thirty, uh, I think it's a twenty-five day beer calendar for December, and this. Bottles and cans in this, um, hello Joe Biden's dentures, how you doing mate? There's bottles and cans in this, it's made this massive calendar thing from, and it's coming all the way from Sweden. 
And he said, expect lots of Imperial Stouts and Stouts. And I was just like, yes, super excited, super excited. So this time of year, I will not commit to what is my best beer in the world because I just don't know. Because I try so many amazing beers. I've forgotten some of the most amazing beers that I've tried. I've forgotten all about them. I, I would stand here racking my brain. And then you guys would go, what about that beer? Or what about it? And i go, oh yeah, I forgot about that one. So, I'll tell you for the season. What's my favourite beer for the season? Hustle, Imperial Stout. How did you know that? Hustle, Imperial Stout. How did you know that? That's the one, it was amazing. Right, we're going into the autumn months, the cold winter months. This is for me, Stout and Porter season. I love Stout and Porter season. That's where we're headed. Five pound in pure Stout, my local Tesco in Edinburgh today. Cherry and milk, chocolate, barrel aged Stout, 11% from Vocation. Looks like the bar has been raised again from Tesco. When have all these new beers now hit? Have we got new beers from Tesco? I thought that was it for the year. <laughs> it's just bonkers. Neil Simon up in Aberdeen, Scotland, drinking Magic Rock. What are the odds? And Elvis tonight should be a wavy one. Well done, Vince. Porter and Stouts. Oh, I love Porters and Stouts, yeah. Even if Si, how are you, mate? I'm alright, Cal, how are you doing, mate? I'm um, trying to get all these comments in. A haze on Imperial Stout, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Simon, oh, she's taken the... Um, Julie, she's taken Annabelle to karate. And she haven't eaten all day, and just, it's such a, I can't say it, I want to say it, but I can't say it. If I was on my own, I'd say it to myself. Who says you can't cook with a butter knife? Um, enjoy my second mythos in Ipswich, well done. Oh, Jonathan Rimblot. Oh, man, this new Tesco beer. Oh, I'm melting. I'm melting in beer. It's like melting through my eyes. There's so much new beer. Is there really? I said, I said in the last batch, that'll be it now. Tesco's will be concentrating on Christmas. They won't release any new beers before Christmas. They go and release some new beers before Christmas. I better get myself to Tesco's. <laughs> um, I'm having a bit of fun. I'm having a bit of fun. I love all of these new beers. I really do. <laughs> um, Domo, yeah. That, uh, thank you, Simon, for trying my beers tonight. Feeling blessed. John, I'm not going to drink... I'm not going to drink the can of Drunken Taylor or the... Hopper grass or the other one because I want to review them. They've got to be proper reviews. I'm gonna have a couple of the Malamutes though. They're in the fridge. They're in the fridge cooling down. But yeah, honestly, um I think we it's just it's it's at a stage now, and this is not me complaining. I'm not complaining for one minute, but we're at a stage now where it's relentless. The amount of beer coming out of the supermarkets and trying to keep up with it all is absolutely relentless. I could probably just review supermarket. I could probably get by just reviewing supermarket beer at the moment. I don't want to do that though. That's the problem. It's a balancing act. It's a balancing act. If I was just to review the new Little Beer Festival beers or Tesco's or Morrison's or, you know, there's some wonderful breweries around the world Look at this beautiful company from Huddersfield here. You just can you can never get round to it. You can never get round to it. But on the other side of the coin, and and this is this is where it's slightly controversial. But everyone's at it. Everyone's at it because that's where the views are. If you have a look at every single beer channel on YouTube, as soon as the supermarket beers come out, boom, 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 everybody's swarming all over. The, because that's where the views are. That's where the views are. It's a bit like 
Marquez Brownlee not reviewing the new iPad. Going, ah, or the new iPhone. Not interested. Some of the tech channels on YouTube going, now nah, I'm not going to review the new iPhone. Um, because I just can't get around to it. They simply do. They simply do. That's where, it's where the interest is. It's where the, where, where the, it's just where it all is. Um, Joe Biden's dad, Newcastle Brown is, is even here in the US. Uh, just watch his new MacBook review. Ah, Scott, I watched it as well. I watched it tea time. What a machine. What a machine that is. Um, Bear, boo, boo, Tesco. Oh, sorry, that's new in it. New Tesco be available in Cardiff Extra. Right, Jonathan, is that Whitchurch or is that Culver? I find Culver rubbish these days. i got to go all the way out to Whitchurch for these new blooming beers. But that's the situation we're, we're in. Is, is, there's wonderful beer out there. It's just at the moment that the supermarkets are in this absolute dogfight. The supermarkets, without a shadow of a doubt, are in a, in a dogfight of, of who can bring out the best beer. Morrison's are fighting Tesco. Tesco's are fighting Sainsbury's. Asda are getting involved. Lidl are launching beer festivals every, every quarter. It's absolutely dog-eat-dog -dog out there at the moment. It's like, it's like they're all learning from one another. Um, yeah, Daniel Bale... Um, but I, I was spe I met Daniel Bale this morning. I met Daniel Bale this morning, and we both had no idea. We both we we chatted for ten fifteen minutes. Not once did we bring up Tesco because we just didn't even know that it, it, it happened. So my day tomorrow. I'll tell you my day tomorrow. I'll tell you all about it. I'll be up bright and early. I'll have to go for my walk. Like six o'clock in the blooming morning, six mile, six, six mile walk in the morning. I'll then have to do all my weight training like this and like this, like this and like this. I'll rush around like to doing the press. I'll have to do all of that by like nine o'clock. I'll have to jump in the car by nine, shoot out seven miles to Tesco, pick up the Tesco beers, come back, dash down McDonald's because McDonald's have got their Christmas. McDonald's have got their Christmas thing in. Uh, wish I haven't mentioned enough. <laughs> um, McDonald's have got their new release, so I'll be and I'll be editing McDonald's new Christmas burger and getting that out there. And they, honestly, it's been one of the busiest. It's been one of the busiest years, um, busiest, busiest times on the channel. It really has. Right, I can light this. I can light the stove now. Look, I think maybe maybe. I grated the cheese earlier, grated the cheese earlier, it's, it's on, Annabelle's hungry. Why does it smell like bacon? It's not bacon, it's, um, I've got your pasta on. 307 people in, uh, I met the Lupo once again today. KFC burger is gone viral, Paul Goggin. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, that, that burger's gone very viral, it's, for me that's done me really well. I like the fact that there was a divot in the hash brown and you poured the gravy in. Love that. Absolutely loved it. Brilliant, brilliant invention. What is it? Annabelle's been punching. Annabelle's been punched in the face and she's got a split lip. She had that's with the thing on. Look at this, she's got a split lip. Yeah! Won't it's be the first. I'll show your lip, show your lip. That won't be the first time. No, you she got it. I bet you. Have you? Did you get knocked out? No. 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 She got a skull like her father. She gave as good as she got, didn't you? Touch wood. Where's touch wood. Pack? In my life, touch wood. I've never been knocked out. What? Never been knocked out. I've had plenty of rows. I've had plenty of rows, but I've never been knocked out. So, so hopefully, Annabelle, did you feel dizzy at all, or did you was just like? No. Like a bull. Did you turn into a bull? Because that's what happens to me. If somebody hits me in the face, I go berserk. Did, did, what happened? Did you did you give them the old um What happened with me? I didn't feel dizzy. I was she just had like this on. Did you get angry? She was I, wearing this. I just felt focused. She was wearing that and oh It hit my lip at the Oh, it's, uh, it's 
so many times. She got it where the bottom of that is in. Yeah. Right, let's have a beer. Put it on higher. Yeah, that's how everyone was doing it. That's how everyone was doing it, though. It's too low. But my face is tired. Oh, yeah, that's why. Right, let's have a beer. Yeah, that's how everyone was doing it. That's how everyone was doing it, though. It's too low. But my face is tired. Oh, Cast iron skillet, love. Not a plate. Julie. Julie said you should hit me with a cast iron skillet. That might knock me out. Oh, right there. Mal nearly did you with the plate. I missed that, John. I missed that, John. Thanks, John. Um, oh, please recommend a nice bitter on? and a stout and also... Oh, you need to see. Have you seen the beers on your desk? No, I haven't even been obsessed. Daniel Bale bought you some beers. Oh. All of the new Morrisons ones. For me? And Tesco. I think we're Shoot amazing. Yeah, they're all up on your desk. Thanks. See, he's Thanks, watching. Daniel Bale. See, thank you. I put them up on your desk for you. Thank you, me. 300 people tuned in. The the cheese is in the... Cheese is in... I, might, I don't know why I'm telling you. Uh, the cheese is in the fridge, Mel. Is this it? Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Are you all sorted now? Nearly. I've got a good viewership tonight. We need to keep things going. What are you at? Daniel said, my pleasure. Cheers. <coughs> oh, he also bought crisps as well for us. Mel's going to do me with a plate now, says so John. It, Daniel Bell, well. but yeah, he works in M&S, <laughs> doesn't he? Look at them ones. Beef Wellington and Turkey Feast. Look at them. They look good. They do look good. I'm going to review them as well. 309 people 309, in. it's amazing. Hit the, the like button. Hats. 200 likes. Should we do it? While they're getting out of the kitchen with their food. I haven't, Savario, I haven't had a chance to read your tweet. What did it say, mate? I'll ask Mal to have a little I look at him. I told you about yesterday the whole um, two hundred thing to go around the oh, to yeah. work and yeah, stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be awful. Come on, two hundred likes! Hit the like button down below. Two hundred likes! Let's do it. Two hundred likes. Two hundred likes. Hit the like button down below. Let's go for two hundred likes. Three hundred and seven people tuned in. This could be record breaking. Record breaking, 190, 193, 193 likes. Come on, hit the like button down below. Oh, we did it! 202 likes and 308 people tuned in. This is amazing. And go, 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 go. Well done, Julie. Thank you very much. What's going on? This is all burning. Uh, now you have a f new oh, fire. Why is Mal wearing a woolly hat? Why well, it's not on today? It's too warm. It's freezing in here. Shut up. I'm. I got. I. I. So my head's. I. I got. I. But I don't like going to the doctors. So I know I got yeah. high blood pressure. I know. But I just walk around the house in my t-shirt all day. They do. They do. <coughs> They're not injecting me. I tell you. <sighs> So Simon's literally a housewife. Hey, I mean, yeah. Uh, absolutely, Bradley. Hello, Bradley Evans. How are you doing? 310 people tuned in. Not a very good one, though, to be fair. Amazing. Oh, you wanna come on. The desk. You want to see the desk? Honestly. Who else does live there? feeds, puts pasta on, lights the stove? What other housewife does you live streams? You can do it all at once, so can you? You see me stirring and talking, I can do it all. Hey, how are we doing, Ken? How are we doing? Cheers, mate. Oh, hope everyone is good. Yep, absolutely. So, um... Bravo. Keep up the great work. Well, Thank so you very much, David. Really, really appreciate it. 231 likes. The likes are still banging in. The likes are still... I'm going to get a Malamook now from Lord's Brewing Company. Why am I going to pour this out here? I got a beer for you. You need to finish the top. Um... Mal needs to finish the top of Newcastle Brown Ale because I'm oh. not. I'm not finishing that. You can um, you can wash the car with it tomorrow, dear. Wash the car. <laughs> what an awful beer that was, that Newcastle Brown Ale. What an awful, awful beer. Um, I, I get lots of comments on the subject because um, it was once a good beer, and that's the shame. That's that's a shame. But Mel wants me to wash the car tomorrow. I'll wash the car. 
<laughs> I might put it in the time. stew. That'd you be could put, the first it, time to say, oh, don't put it in the stuff. stew on Fried oh. Thursday. Oh, we'll make a stew yeah. with the blooming stuff. It'll be a sweet stew though, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, it would. Oh, what a revolting pint that is, Newcastle Brown Ale. Oh, I'd rather. Somebody commented why on is mine. That like that? Somebody commented on my video today saying it never used to be like that back in the 1980s. It was a good pint. It was a respectful, respectful beer. It was a good nut brown ale. It would have been a nut brown ale. Yes, so unbelievable, it. unbelievable. You won't get to see it. Hello, craft family. Hello. Blazes, Hello. how are we doing? Be a batter some cod. Yeah, I've, I've, I wish to make that in the pub. A couple of pints and you make good beer batter. Yeah. It's flour and it's not much. It's beer. Oh, we got our first member of the night, Gerard Deary. Hello, Gerard. Welcome to the lifeboat. Keep us afloat. Thank you very much for the first membership tonight. If you want to become a member of the channel, don't do that. Um, hit the join button down below. If you hit the join button down below, you can become a member of the channel. Just support us. Just support us through these current strange times. Um, Simon, if you have high blood pressure, you need to see the doctor. It's easy to treat. Take a tablet. Yeah. And it will protect your heart. He would just want his sympathy for <coughs> I've been, I've been to the doctor. In all honesty, I've been to the doctor. I said I got high blood pressure and I don't know how long I'm going to last. And the doctor put that thing on my arm. I said I can hear ringing in my ears. I said I can hear <laughs> ringing in my ears. And she put this thing around my arm, pumped it up and she said, you're absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with you. And I said, really? I said, I drunk 6,000 beers. Are you, sh are you sure I'm okay? <laughs> and, she, and she was like, yeah, 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 you're all right. Um, so cheers, cheers to my you blood are pressure. You're 25 though. <laughs> 25. <laughs> I wish I was 25. They were the days. Oh, Lee Possewick, we've got a welcome to getting out and about. We've got another. We've got our second membership of the night. All that walking, uh, Taylor Ben. Yeah, I, I think fitness has a little bit to do with it. I try and stay fit, as fit as I can. Thank you, Lee Possilway, for the second membership of the night. Unbelievable. Not those things you Unbelievable. Mean. Thank you very much. Julie saying nice. Love the hat. Look at her tattoo. It's a boat. Oh. It's a boat with the anchor goes all the way down. <laughs> that was that helmet in Abigail. I'm 45, had a stroke in February. Oh, it turns out the clock came from a hole in my heart. I never knew I had. Waiting for surgery to have it closed up. Bob Driscoll, I hope you're all right, Bob. I hope you're all right. I really do. Um, it's not nice to hear that. Uh, we're all in our 40s. The trouble is, Bob, the trouble I'm is, is we think we're invincible. We think we're absolutely invincible, but we're not. We're not, we absolutely not. I'm gonna get a beer out the fridge. Um, you'll stay fit, slaving away in the kitchen all day, cooking for the girls. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You need to tell them the truth. Right, let's get a beer. Annabelle, I got this, is, it's not too cold. It's not too cold. It's colder, it's colder than the one on the, the shelf over here. I don't like my beer too cold. I'll be honest, I put this in the fridge at six o'clock. I don't like it too cold. Um, I ordered a Phillips Perfect Draft and said Simon should do the job. <laughs> Phillips Perfect Draft, brilliant machine. Absolutely brilliant machine. Well, wife and kids are asleep. Well done, Lexi. Life and death. Here he is, Simon Woods in the house. Good evening all, my name is Simon and I am an alcohol enthusiast, loving it. Uh, brilliant. I'm older than you, lol, and the older I get, the younger and younger I get. Julie, I bet I bet you are. So Mel's tattoo, is it the boat of the fisherman's friends packet? No. <laughs> Simon says, how are you in the Wrexham area? Right, let's get this beer open, should we? I've just... Malamute, my mate is a Malamute. What is what is Malamute? Is it a dog? Is it? I don't know. 
It's a dog by the looks of things. There's a dog on the label. <coughs> Here we go then. I haven't cleaned my glass. Sorry, John. I'm, I'm all about in the moment. In the moment. Fire it into the glass. Session IPA. Some nice interesting malts in here for the session IPA. Um, John, if you want to talk us through the malts, what malts are in here to give that lovely golden amber colour. Lovely looking beer, good levels of carbonation, two finger white head, aroma, no haziness going on. John will be in now with the malts, you'll let us know. We've got 350 people in, 350. Right. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. There's, there's, more, there's more hot profile than the talking head. There's a little bit more malt complexity as well. There's a little bit more, I'd say, like more of a, a, a wafer, more of a wafer aroma going on. Uh, what is what is the price of a 20 litre poly gig of John's Pilsner? Luke Robertson. John will answer. John will answer, what is the price of a 25 litre of his Pilsner? He will answer because he's on the call tonight. Or well, he's not on the call, he's on He's on the live feed. We're not on Zoom now, are we? Welcome to the lifeboat, keep us afloat. Dominic P, we got another member. Another member tonight. Thank you so very much for becoming a member of the channel. This is absolutely Sue. Perb, thank you for all of your continued support. We've lost some viewers. Come on, let's build this up. Let's build this back up. We can beat the bake off into the back street alley. Right, we want 370 likes. Hit the like button down below. 370 likes. Let's beat the bake off to the back lane alley. 270. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. I don't want to guess which way the glass spilled. Did you drop your beer, Daniel? Um, Simon Wood. Well, I'll choose the membership. Simon does really appreciate the support. He sometimes gets his top off. They were, they were, they were, yeah, maybe, maybe tomorrow. Simon, what's worth, um, what's worse? Sainsbury's curry or a Newcastle brown ale? Well, that's that's uh, it's tough. That is because the the meat was terrible in that curry. It was unedible. It was unedible. We're two likes away. Two likes away from two hundred and seventy likes. Hit the like button in this corner down here. Hit the like button down below. Two hundred and seventy likes. Come on, let's do it. Two hundred and seventy-one. Little less hobo. How was it? Yeah. The worst thing in the internet right now is the real. It's the real Simon's internet. Uh, Simon, you're a blooming legend, like clockwork. Flash, thank you very much. We got to be like clockwork here on the on the virtual pub, aren't we? Uh, how did I get my black eye, um, Ben? Um, I, I've always had black eyes. I always will have black eyes. I told the story quite a lot. Um, I'll maybe do I tell it again? Does any does everybody know the story about my black eyes, my big black black baggy eyes? I got hit in a got in the eye with a golf ball at a hundred miles an hour, and it hit me in the face. Still didn't knock me out. Still didn't knock me out. Hit me in the face. My head rocked back, and and my eye come out, and the black eye went from one eye to the other, to the other, to the other. And the doctor said that it will keep going back and forth. The black eye is so big, it took up half my face. The black eye is so big, it will make its way over from one side of the face to the other. But you will always, because your skin has stretched so much, you'll always have baggy skin under your eyes and you will always have black, black eyes. That's cool. Never quite went away. It wasn't, my, my daughter just said, oh, that's cool. It wasn't at the time. My parents were scared stiff. My parents, I remember back and forth the hospital. I wasn't on a golf course, I was in a kid's park. That's the worst thing about it, I was in a kid's park. And some bloke hitting golf balls in the 
field over. Professional golfer. Professional golfer. He must have hit one astray in it. Yeah, it got me. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah, a few, few, um, few quid out of it. Um, evening, Simon. Love the videos. Watching your. Can that take them to court, like? Keeley, West York, drinking two sailors, Cook Lane IPA, fantastic beer. So you let the golf ball get the better of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Um. Has anyone had any beers from Pentrick Brewing Company? They're delicious. Dominic? No, I haven't. <clears throat> He's standing at the bar at the time. Um, right, people, no one asked Simon again about his black eye. He gave me a glass eye, lol. Um, Simon, Indiana was an Alaskan Malamute owned by George Lucas in the 70s. Indiana was the inspiration from the character Chewbacca. Ah, right. Uh, what's amazing about this channel is how the chat carries on without the host. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just you guys can chat away amongst yourselves. This is the point. I thought they meant me. I like. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe, maybe Mal's the host. Yeah, and she's not here. But what I really like about this evening is the fact that you guys are tuned in, having a conversation with other people. I'd like to think that over time, you guys become friendly. You, you become friendly and you chat to one another. This is what it's all about. It's a virtual pub. Have a chat with somebody on here. It's brilliant. It's great. Malamute has wheat, torrified wheat and Maris Otter. Well done, John from Lord's Brewing Company. Chris O'Neill, have a look at some of the websites out there. Beers of Europe will have Imperial Stouts. Um, Honest Brew will have Imperial Stouts. Beer Merchants will have Imperial Stouts. Have a look at all these online specialty beer stores. You will find a big array of Imperial Stouts, I promise you. I promise you. <coughs> Bianca says, Happy Tuesdays. Hello, Bianca, how are you? He can't be on the European tour if he is so wild. Energy. Off the tree. Yeah, <laughs> always a red, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Simon, you should have a yearly meet for everybody who enjoys the channel. Basically a good drink. Gerard, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to. We were going to do it in the summer. Malamu got his name from the Wolf Hops, Bobek and Styrian Wolf. Brilliant. Very nice. Postman's Knock. I remember that beer. Ooh, um, Hobson's. Hobson's Brewery. Great beer. Postman's Knock. Um, ooh, I just had um, beer. That's the one I remember. Thanks. We'll have a look now. Chris, have a look. Beer Merchants as well. Beer Merchants will have Imperial Stouts. But have a look at Beer Beers of Europe first because, of course, they're our channel sponsor. <laughs> I'm just trying to be helpful. I'm just trying to be helpful. I don't want to be overly biased as well. Um, ah, the yearly meet. That was it, Gerard. Um, the yearly meet. We tried to do it in the summer. All this current situation was so... We just couldn't do it. We just couldn't do it. But I have an idea. I do have an idea. I'm going to execute my idea. Probably next... I say next year. I'd like to think I could do one trial one before Christmas. Wow. One trial thing for my idea. Um... I want to do like a, I'll tell you later because I don't want my idea being stolen. Okay. I don't want my idea I being stolen. <laughs> I don't want it being stolen. But I've, I've got an idea. I've got an idea that I'm going to try to execute. And it, it probably involves you guys coming to see me wherever, wherever I may be. So um, it, it does involve travelling. It does involve travelling. Mm, well, England's currently in lockdown. 
Maybe you can choose random names. After so 36 years, I finally realised how to how to uh, half sit up. Great exercise for the stomach, worth checking out. We got 316 people tuned in. 316. Annabelle, that was disgusting. We got, we got, um. Make that less. Made a huge pot of chili for dinner tonight, Joe Biden's den just. We got 325. 325 people. Yep, yeah, uh, it's ruined festivals. Um, it, 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 it's, it's ruined festivals up and down the country. Up and down the country. Um, I just don't know where I am anymore. I don't know where I am. I, I, I find myself um, almost reminiscing. Do any of you reminisce? Do you, oh, you know, I, I've been reminiscing about the Great British Beer Festival. And I haven't been to the Great British Beer Festival in five years. But I'm reminiscing about the Great British Beer Festival because it's a festival and it's like... I got good memories there, and and do you are you the same as me? Are you reminiscing about about festivals and where you went and and hot beach? Oh, Mal said it. Mal said a hot beach and sand. I I I I, I I'm more like a swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. But I'm I'm missing. I mean, I'm missing the festivals as well. I really am. I I love. Um, Loads of memories, Alan Ray, yeah. But I miss the festivals, the beer festivals. It, like, it's beer's taken me all over Europe. Beer has taken me literally all over Europe. And I just haven't done anything this year. I just haven't done anything. Hope to go to GBBF next year. <coughs> all being well. More oh, TV, okay. Yeah, let, let's... Let, let, Craig, let, let's see if we can get a meetup going. Even uh, where we met up in um, Blooming Daya, Daya, you know, just a day out in Daya was, um, well, it was incredible. I miss it all. I miss it all so much. Do you think, Simon, when will reopen beer festivals? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's going to be last on the list, unfortunately, because it involves beer and it, and it involves. Bristol had one. It just involves different things. Yeah, yeah. Bristol had one. Mel saying they did, they did. But I was, I had tickets for that, and I got tied up. I couldn't go, and I'm really disappointed. I couldn't go. Pezzy says 2022. If this whole vaccine thing turns out to be true then maybe it'll sort itself out and maybe we can go. Maybe festivals will come back. <laughs> Spray the toilet bowl. Um, the shortest duration. Oh, I, I find I stop. I start like, ooh, I need a wee, and I can't even think about putting liquid in my body i'm like no no i gotta run to the toilet i'm the world's worst um reminiscent of other bin men collecting garden waste yeah yeah always a red i mean yeah absolutely cheers to the virtual beer gathering um i'm gonna talk about this beer uh malamut by lord's brewing company it's a really well behaved beer it's got a great look to it Great aroma, really lovely taste. It's got like a sherbet lemon, tutti fruity kind of. Yeah, it's quite lemony, quite a lemony aroma. It's very nice. Sweetness, bitterness. It's good, it's good. Get used to it for a bit. Mark Foster, yeah. Um, Another 12 months, says Mark Foster. <sighs> I've learned. Uh, anyone put their Christmas tree up yet? Lee? No, I, I, I'm, um, I'm like traditional 
12 days of Christmas, me, goes up about a week before, about a week and a half before. I go round the street here and there's people got them up in, they've had them up since, they, they took their Halloween stuff down and then they put up their Christmas decorations and that, that would drive me bonkers. That would drive me up the blooming wall. Um, if you have put your Christmas decorations up, I'm not judging anyone. I'm not judging anyone, but I'm like, I'm like, it's like something like the 15th, about 10 days before. It's like, it's nice when they all go up, it's nice. But the thing is, I'm going to get Lord's Brewing Company's super chat in a moment, but I just want to finish this sentence or this thought. The, the problem is, Christmas starts in September in the Philippines, wow. Do you know that nice feeling you get at Christmas? That nice feeling generally starts for me when you put the lights up and the tree and all the decorations. That's the nice feeling. But like anything in life, like anything in life, that nice feeling soon wears off. So if I put them up now, I probably would be really annoyed at Christmas Day. At Christmas Day. So, like, oh, why is it Christmas? Oh, whoa, 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 I've had enough of this. You know, you've got to hold on to that excitement. But I tell you, on that last day, I generally, I have a good party on New Year's Day. And then on the second, the second, I'm generally, I'm ready now. I'm ready to take all this stuff down. And I'm like, oh, I've got to take all the blooming decorations down. And, and I've learned to put them all away tidy. I've got to get this super chat. Um, okay, here we go. Spread the love. Buy two, get one free on our canned beers for 24 hours. Oh my goodness me, Lord's Brewing Company. How's that, everybody? There's a deal, a super chat deal from Lord's Brewing Company. Spread the love. Two for one. Two for one on cans of craft beer at Lord's Brewing Company. Can't wait to get my tree. At Lord's Brewing Company. Go to their website. Lord's Brewing Company. Go to their website. Currently two for one on cans. Boom. That's an exclusive. I tell you what. I'm going to get the promotion code up and going. Promotion code. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows for the promotion code. For two for one at Lord's Brewing Company. For their canned craft beer. For 24 hours only. Go, everybody. Go and order your beer. Simon Wood. Uh, where do we go for the deal? Um, Lord's Brewing Company. These guys, Lord's. Two for one on cans. And honestly, this is lovely. This is lovely. This really is. 440 can. <coughs> it's lovely. Really good. I'm drinking it right now. Fabulous stuff. Right. I'm just putting all the decks on the tree if I just sit there and get let it leave. Well then, Lee, I think pub sheds will be the new going out experience when it disappears. People won't be rushing back to high street pubs anytime soon, unfortunately. Ah, man. Spread the love. Buy two, get one. Right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Buy two, get one free. I got so excited, I, I read the deal wrong. I said, buy one, get one free. Sorry, sorry, John. Sorry, John. Buy two, get one free. Sorry, John. I just um, messed about with your profits. <laughs> uh, oh, Blimey, I'm a, I, I need to learn to read. <laughs> Joel Morris with a five pound super chat. Simon, Tiny Rebel might be bringing out some Christmas beers. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Um, thank you very much, Joel Morris, for the super chat. Got my bar in the garden. Going to have a pub shed built there next year. Brilliant. Well done. Well done, Lee Possibly. I want a photo. When you build your pub, I want a photo of that pub, please. 
Uh, Christmas Day, I just sit there, drink beer and spirits and watch so one to seven to cheer myself up. Philip James. <laughs> yeah, sorry, lords. I'm like, yeah, I'll get one free. Buy two. Buy two, get one free. Buy two, get one free. Not buy one, get one free. Just to finish up on my Christmas decorations. So, yeah, I generally put all the decorations back in the box tidily. So then when I get them out this year, because, you know, I've done it one year, I just stuffed them all in the box. And we spent hours untangling everything, untangling all the lights. And, ah, oh, it's like the worst. So I've learned from my lesson. I've learned my lesson to wrap it all up. It takes a bit of time. But, um, yeah, wrap it all up properly and put it in the box. And then it comes out much easier. Ask the missus for my first partial grain brew kit for Christmas. Going to be brewing a New England IPA over the holiday. Can't wait. Well done, Mac Foster. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Uh, got a few answers of Gilles to burn through. <laughs> well done, Adrian Morley. Uh, the only review beers you bought, or could we send any in? Jack Lee. Uh, I buy... I do buy a lot of the beer. I buy a lot of the supermarket beer, of course. And then I, um, um, what do I do then? I guess sent a lot. Like, I, I even meet people. So, so Daniel Bale, if Daniel Bale's still watching, he met me this morning and he was like, I got some beers for you, mate. And I was like, brilliant, let's meet up. Let's... I met him down on the bus stop, down by the old cinema in Barry. <laughs> and uh, that's our little kind of meeting point. And Daniel gives me a few beers and... I say thank you, shake his hand, and uh, yeah, excellent fun, excellent fun. Envious of UK-based viewers at the moment. <coughs> That's good stuff. Good stuff. Um, Hannah Brown, what am I drinking tonight? I'm drinking a Malamute. Am I pronouncing this right? Malamute. It's a session IPA from Lord's Brewing Company. Yeah, I went for a mystery box of Brewdog Club Festival. You know what it's going to contain. Hopefully one of those gold cans. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Can't find Wells Banana Bread anymore in supermarkets. Ah, uh, it's really... Um, I mean, if you like it, fine. If you like it, fine. But they really did not change Charlie Wells, Wells Brewing Company. They just did not. They just did not change. They did not change. They did not. You've got to innovate. In this, in this day and age in brewing, you have to innovate. You have to be kind of bringing stuff out. Not all the time. This once a month thing, I think that's gone away a bit now. The whole let's bring a new beer out every month. That drove me nuts. That drove me nuts because the beer would disappear. You, you go and buy something, review it, oh, a really good view, and then the beer would disappear, and you're like, nah, this is, I'm wasting my time. <laughs> I need a beer to review on the channel where somebody could view the video in six months' time. That's, you know, not that I'm a lazy bugger, but, but the amount of beer to get through, if I was doing all of these, like, once a month special type things, I think you chase, I've, I've mentioned this so many times, you're chasing your tail, you really are, you're going round and round and round. As a reviewer, as a reviewer, if I was just a beer drinker, if I was just a beer drinker, perfect, perfect. New beers every month, fantastic, great stuff. Um, yeah. Right, uh, when this is done, I want you all to come to my brewery. Tap room and we'll have a mad party. Um, John, I might be up your way in December. I might be up your way in December. I've not mentioned too much yet. Um, I don't want people to steal my ideas. But I got, I got something planned. I got something planned. If this whole situation clears up a little bit, um, I got something planned. I'll be up your way. And of course, I'll let people know. I'll let people know when I'm there so they can come and meet me and have a beer. I'm thinking about Leeds. I'm thinking about Leeds, if I'm honest. Um, should be good. Should be good. 
My kids are making triple chocolate buns, Nutella everywhere. <laughs> Mad and chocolate everywhere, John. Chocolate all over the place. Do you know what, John, about kitchens? Do you know what about chick? Do you know what about kitchens? It all wipes up. Let them have their fun. Let them have their fun. It all wipes up. Enjoy, John. Enjoy the moment. It soon goes by. Enjoy the moment. Um, always welcome on mine, Simon. Thank you very much, Lord's Brewing Company. Do a beer signing in legs. Leeds Waterstones. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm definitely... It's going to be Leeds, probably. It's going to be Leeds. I've, I've been up around that way before. The train network is fantastic. I love the train. I love the train. Um... You can nip between Leeds and Saltaire and, you, you know, you can fly around on that train anywhere, really. Yeah, I, I love the trains. It's really good. Really good service as well. All electric. All the trains are electric up that way as well. It's like, boof, you, you, you know, you you boof, you, you straight train beers as well. I tell you what, um, I, went on, I went on a train once with um, Rob from Hop Scene. And another, he was a brewer, I think. And we got the last train back to Saltaire. Oh my goodness me. There was women. You know the baggage blooming things on above, above the racks? The baggage racks above you. There was women singing, like, like Delilah or whatever they, you know. I think it was Delilah. Or they were singing something, like Tom Jones or something. Like 40, 50 year old women. Pulling themselves through the blooming racks, the baggage racks on the top, singing drugs off their faces, unbelievable. And we were just sitting, we were just sitting there like, what on earth is going on here? Uh, Live at Leeds from the Who is my favourite album. Cool, I love the Who. Honestly, Taylor Ben, John from Lords will probably say, yeah, that's what kind of happens. But they warned me. The funny thing was, right? You don't get that down south. The funny thing is, right? They warned me. They said, look, Simon, this is the last train home in Leeds. You get on this train, train, anything can, anything go, anything goes type of thing. Uh, loving the lights. Watching at work from Blackpool. Wishing my night shit was over. Simon, I've had ACDC. ACDC blasting out recently whilst decorating my... I love ACDC. Um... <laughs> I love it. Brilliant, brilliant song. I was born in the middle of a film on fire. Thunder! <laughs> what? Mal said I'm not allowed to sing. Bon Scott. Yes, Bon Scott. Another one of the 29 Club. Please stop. Joe Ta, you need to go and listen to that record. I was close. Simon Wood will tell you. I was very close then, lyrically. Very close. On tune. I'm not seeing a motion. I'm trying to buy the three cases of... Ah! Lord's Brewing Company. Is John there? Is John there? He's trying to order three cases of Malamut. Is Simon Wood. He's saying to John, he can't see the order. John will help you. I'm sure he will. You know, three or four stations in a row along the Leeds line that are platform bars with terrific beers on cask. Jamie Pritt. Oh, I love, I love, I love the North. Love, I love the North. When it comes to beer, I tell you, you can't beat it. You cannot beat the North for beer. My cat just legged it. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, sorry, I love watching your streams, but... Being from America, I wish I could relate what you guys are talking about at times. So, Joseph, you know the railway carriages? Last train home is generally about 11 o'clock in the night. Everyone's been on the gas. 
It was Friday. Everyone was on the gas from six, seven o'clock. And, and the train was rocking. The train was rocking and there was people going above me on the... So you have suitcase racks above the top. And they were pulling themselves across the suitcase racks and it was just madness, absolute madness. People singing, you know, everyone having a good time. Just imagine that, imagine that. Hence I say, Joe, I need to stop when the thunderstruck is on. <laughs> Barry Bitter, salty popcorn. Barry Bitter, yeah. Come to Manchester. Where's John? Is John still watching? Oh, there he is. Um, right, there we are. Simon Wood, put the voucher code in. Spread the love. Hashtag spread the love. There we are. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. John's just sold three cases of Malamute. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? It gives me goosebumps. Gives me goosebumps to think that I'm having a bit of fun in the kitchen and people are benefiting from it. I love that. I love that. I love that. People enjoying themselves and, and ordering beer. and I love that. I really do. I love the fact that people are benefiting from this stream. I do. Who's benefiting from this stream? Let me know in the comments box. Who's benefiting from my madness? <laughs> uh, out of 10, what would you honestly say that session IPA is Simon? Right, that was Richard Smith. John's watching, I'll be honest. <coughs> John's watching. I'll give a final thought and a rating on Malamute session IPA. Good colour. Cracking head retention. Look at the head retention. That is all the way down the glass. That's a sign of a good beer. That's a sign of a good beer when you got... Last train from Leeds is madness. There he is. There he is. We were on that train. We were... I was just talking about our train ride in Leeds. Amazing. Amazing. Um, I just want to get back to this very quickly and I'm going to talk to my friend Rob. Um... Yeah, good good sign of a, a beer when you've got good head retention all the way down. Um, it's a nice colour for a Session IPA. Smells good. And it's got a mixture. This beer has got a mixture between classic British molten hops and then it's got an American side to it where there's there's lots of bitterness coming through and there's, there's lots of kind of grapefruit and orange peel and that sort of thing. But it's, I'm trusting you, Simon. Please don't say it's not good now after I've ordered 36 cans. Honestly, it's good. Um, I'm drinking, Mal to, to those who are new, I'm drinking Malamute by Lord's Brewing Company. It's got that combination of classic British kind of malts um, a good well brewed bitter, if, if that makes kind of sense, a light coloured bitter, but it's got an American side to it with there's loads of kind of orange peel, grapefruit, nice bitterness, nice spiciness. It's a really good beer. I'm going to give it, in truth, I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Milo Craft Beer. I know the guys from Lords are, uh, are watching and they're probably wondering... Why not a 9 or a 10? But that's my honest opinion. I'm always honest on the channel. Um, I think it's a, it's a good beer and it's an 8 out of 10. Right. True story, Lee. Uh, Leeds versus Hull last season. The last train to Salby is a Hull train. All Leeds fans banned due to police concerns. Hull fans only. I had to pay some... Uh, £20 for a lift home. <laughs> no way. Uh, no way. Simon Wood, better than... 36 cans of Duval. Oh, good, good God. Right, um, Simon Wood, thank you so much for the support. Really couldn't do it without people like you guys in this chat. Um, 
Oh, it's brilliant. It's fantastic that people are ordering beer. I'm good. talking about beer. I don't have one. I don't have one. So I'm just going to get one out the fridge. Um, I'm wondering if it's too early. We're 65 minutes in, an hour and five minutes in. I've got on the perfect draft. I got. I've. I've kegged the Jiper. I've kegged the Jiper, and it's brilliant. It's proper old school Jiper. I'm wondering if it's too early to start drinking 5.9 percent. 5.9 percent at five. Five past eight in the evening. Is it too early for a Jiper? I tell you what I'll do. I'll have another Malamute. Go for the keg. Get a grip, man. Yeah, but you know what I'm like. I get drunk really easy. I get drunk really easy. Do I have another Malamute? I've got another Malamute in the fridge. Shall I have? Never too early. Never too early. Keg time. All right. All right. You got me. You got me. Um, I'm not having that Newcastle brown ale, though. That Newcastle brown ale can stay in that blooming machine out there. It can stay there forever, as far as I'm concerned. Awful beer. Right, okay, I'm going to be a minute then. I've got to go out to the conservatory. I'm going to go and get myself a joy purr. On the perfect draft. Video coming soon. <laughs> No, I've, um, I made a mess. Oh, no, no, it's not too bad. It was like the head was down there just now. There we are. Jaipur, Thorma Jaipur. I'm going to drink the other can of Malamute, though. I'm going to have it after this one. Um, <clears throat> Bud Light on your Castaponia if you were stuck on a desert island with no other choice. Bud Light. I prefer Bud Light. I would, I would prefer Bud Light, honestly, I would, um, over Newcastle Brown Ale. I find this stuff undrinkable. Me and Mel, me and Mel reviewed that Newcastle on the top, and we left it, we, we just left it on the dock. Very, 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 very rarely do we leave beer. We're not, we're not the type to waste. We don't waste anything. We put half bottles of wine in stews if it's gone over, and we'll use everything. Honestly, we both left the Newcastle Sunday afternoon. Um, we both left our pints of Newcastle Brown Ale. I turned to Mel, Mel turned to me, and said, "I can't drink it. I, I cannot, cannot drink it." Hi, see you over Newcastle Brown Ale here. How are you all doing? Hello, Alistair. Hello, Alistair. Um, awful pint. You need to go back to the 1980s recipe. If that's really you watching, you should be disgraced. Disgraceful, disgraceful, horrible beer. I don't mind telling you that. If you really are the CEO, I can give a monkeys, me. I can give a monkeys. I'm the CEO of Real Ale Craft Beer. <laughs> you should be ashamed coming on this blooming feed defending yourself. <laughs> it's ruined. Um, uh, how are we doing? Take the brown ale dump it, it's rubbish. Yeah, so, um, the, what's my favourite cheese? Oh, I, I'm eating, um, the coalface, um, cheese, what's it called? Um, it's in the fridge there. Welsh Caerphilly cheese at the moment. Um, I can't think of the blooming name of the stuff. It's nice, really strong Extra, extra strong cheddar. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. That really is a fantastic... It's like drinking Jai Pur from eight years ago. It really is. I don't know why. 
why is it that these beer machines, they seem to bring the best, the very best out of beer. Beers which you, you, you know, you've lost all hope, apart from Newcastle Brown Ale. Um, but beers that you lose all hope on, like, like Joyper in the can, recently, I was like, mm. Hello, Paul. How you doing, Paul? Yeah, Joyper in the can recently was like, it was all right, nothing really that special. But, um, from the keg, from the keg, it's really good. Um, do I reckon mild will ever be as popular as it once was? Um, it depends who brews it. Depends who brews it. I'll tell you, a company that makes a terrific, a terrific mild. And they're up Leeds way. Rudgate. Rudgate's Ruby Mild. That is a terrific terrific beer rudgate if it's the same as it was i haven't had it in ages in a can filtration levels can be different ah there we go there we go um john john you're from that way hop scene if you're still watching i haven't had rudgate ruby mild in seven years i always swear by it and i haven't had it in seven years you're probably thinking it's gone down, you know, sometimes beers go downhill, don't they? Um, is it still a good beer? Rudgate Ruby Mild. Is it still a good beer? Because I love that beer. Ruby Mild is still terrific. They have it down our local. Jamie Pritt. Brilliant. I haven't had it in seven years. I had a bottle of it. I had a bottle of it. And the next beer that I reviewed was another northern company. Oh, Joy Pur in Can and Keg. And use a different Easter cast. All right, and let me read, let me read that again. Dry put in can and keg, and use a different yeast to cask. But this is keg. This is from the Perfect Draft keg. It's superb. It's brimming. It's brimming again. Remember how dry put used to be? The hops were like flying out the glass. It's flying. It really is. The hops are flying out this glass. It's like dry put of old. Um, I'm all right, Paul. I just, I've seen you, I clocked your comment. No, not McEwen's champion. The Osset. Osset Brewery. Uh, I remember, because I did the two beers and they were both great. I did Rudgate's Ruby Mall. And I remember when I finished reviewing them, I, I grabbed the two glasses. I walked over to the, to the living room and sat down with Mal. I said, I got a real treat here. I got really two superb beers. It was Rudgate Ruby Mild and Osset. I think I've only ever done one beer from Osset Brewery. And it was like, um, it was like a treacle, treacle stout, Osset treacle stout. And this is, I don't like Jai, ooh, ooh, that's, that's interesting. Osset Black Rat. It was a treacle beer. From Osset, I'm sure it was a treacle beer. Didn't Rugby Rugby Rubmail win the Great British Beer Festival? No, it wasn't Black Rat. It was um, a, a treacle. Treacle porter or something. It was fabulous. It was really good. See, now I... I thought, I thought you would have liked Jaipur, um, Rob. I thought, I really thought that would have been right up your street. But then again, I've always, and we, we've spoken about this at the Great British Beer Fest. I remember the conversation we had. I like that raw, like, bitterness. I like that kind of American IPA, West Coast, real kind of raw, Bitter, in your face, bitter. I love that when it rips your face off. I really like that, and and that's the probably the reason why I like Jaipur. And even back then, I remember you saying you like the the more kind of like 
middle ground where it wasn't sweet it wasn't hoppy sorry it wasn't sweet it wasn't bitter it was more um like like your pineapples and your mangoes and your passion fruits more new england ipa style even back then i think that's where i remember the conversation at the great british beer festival um we then got a load of really rare bottles from the american bar and we found some room somewhere and we just started cracking open bottles of this rare american beer and reviewing it on youtube and we that was the year we got bill from Brains, Bill Dobbs from, from Brains. We got him in and we blew his mind. So we got the head brewer of Brains Brewery in South Wales. You know the rugby? Osset Treacle Stout. It was Osset's Treacle Stout, I remember. Um, you know the rugby, the, the internationals, where you, you see them playing in Wales, you see the brain signs all over the stadium. Well, we got the head, me and Rob from Hopsing, we got the head brewer of Brains in this room and we had all these big 750 bottles open from America and we blew his mind. We blew his mind because Brains Brewery, they brew bitter, dark, SA, SA Gold. So they're all like 4% beers, 4, 4.5% beers. And we blew his mind. We blew, This guy, like, I think he left the room. And he, he was probably asking his accounts manager if we could if he could have some more money to brew his beers. <laughs> right, we got a super chat. Black treacle stout, Simon Lee. Thank you very much, Lee. And and Hopsy and come back with the, the treacle stout. It was I love that. Really good. Right. Super chat. Um, cheers to Lord's Brewing Company and John's generous offer. Please support him by placing an order. Absolute legend in the Stone Crow. Absolutely. Oi, oi, all the lads in here tonight. Hannah Brown. Hello, Hannah. Howard Turner. Anyone had the Choco Blocker Mocha Stout? It's good. It's good. I, in the big 500 cans. This is a 500 of the Talking Head. That was nice. That was my first beer of the night. That was that was lovely. You you'll see a you'll see a 500 mil can. There's there's a there's a 500 and there's a 440. Slightly slightly taller, but it makes a, a, a whacking great difference. I think it makes a right difference. It just it just it seems like. Like you could put that in your chimney and it'll take all the smoke away from your fire, you know? You could you could cut the top off that and make a chimney shoot out of it. Um, if I if I was a queen, I would ban 300 cans. Need to be 440 minimum. Tom Wilson. Dominic P. Two pound super chat. Next beer, fruited sour or American barley wine. Um, Franco, hi, I'm your fan and thanks to you I can appreciate better craft beer. Thanks for the info you bring to the channel. Franco, thank you. Honestly, thank you for tuning in. Um, I just like drinking beer in front of the camera. <laughs> so enjoy, enjoy my friend, enjoy. Um, have I, I feel like, have I missed a super chat after joking about garlic stout during the last Tuesday stream? I googled it and there's a place in the US that you can get it on draft. Have I missed um Have I missed a super chat? <laughs> yes, no, 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 I got I got it, I got it. Um Lord's Brewing Company, John at Lords has asked Hopsy a question. Have you been to the York Beer Festival at York Racetrack? Got Dominic's. Um, um, what's the top supermarket beers to date? Jamie, for me... Oh, it's got to be that Northern Imperial Stout in Morrison's. That was the best for me, personally. Um, quickly followed by the Northern Monk Transient, 
Yeah, that was it. Transient. That was lovely. That was another lovely beer. But for me, what won it, what won it was the Imperial Stout in Morrison's. That was just incredible. That was like incredible, incredible beer that was. It really was. Hi, Simon. Not on the Newcastle Road. <laughs> it's just still in the crubs. Mark Roberts. It's still in the crubs. It's staying in the crubs. Um, I might try and make a stew out of it. I might try and make a stew out of it on Thursday. I might get some cuts of beef and diced, not, not you know, Lidl's. I'll go to Lidl's and I'll buy some diced beef and I'll cut some carrots and potato. I'll chuck the Newcastle brown ale in, in the slow cooker with some sprouts and cauliflower and broccoli and whatever veg I can get. i chuck it all in the slow cooker and, and uh, yeah. David, we queued up at the American bar at the GBBF. I think it opened at 1 p.m. And we are absolutely hammered. Well done, David. Right, i got to go to the toilet. i got to go to the toilet. Simon, give the Newcastle Browns to someone you hate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gerald, Simon, my local has been voted best I stout in Ireland twice in the last five years. It's insane stuff. All right, my sexy welcome in the valley. Um, GBBF, the great... British back the great British beer festival can you give my role model? right I gotta go to toilet I gotta go to toilet I'll be back now can we keep it above 300 views keep it above 300 views by hitting the like button can we do 400 I'm going to toilet can we do 400 likes hit the like button down here or down whatever it is on your stream Hit the like button down below, whatever, either that corner or that corner. Can we do 400 likes? I'm going to go to the toilet. Come on, 400 likes. back everyone oh <laughs> we got 304 we're still above we're still on 390 likes 
390 likes, 10 likes to go for 400. Come on, let's do it. 10 likes. Um, craft Beer Lady, who's just reminded me to put the sink, uh, to put the, 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 the dish in the sink, otherwise everything's going to go a bit hard. And put some water in it. Can we do... Oh, we've done it! 400 likes. Okay. We've done it. 400 likes. Wait for that noise of the water filling up to go away. Right, now. Mel just told me, craft beer lady. Could I give it a bit of support? And I said, why not? What do you need? What do you need? And I'll, and I'll give it to you. She needs 250, only 250 subscribers for her next thousand. There we are. There's nothing worse than a sticky pan, is there? Do you know when you leave something on the cooker, there's nothing worse. I always fill the pan with water and then let it, um, let it sort itself out and then you just wipe it away and brilliant, job done. But Mel, Mel's only, she's only 250 away from her next thousand um, subscribers, which is really cool. Isn't that cool? So her channel's called Craft Beer Lady. Daniel Bell, she will. Um, Taylor Ben, Craft Beer Lady, quality videos. Yeah, she does the best. They are quality. They are quality. One to a thousand. My goodness me. Um, Spitfire Canon. Oh, I couldn't do that. Message deleted by the Google moderator team. What's happened to Chris Bell then? What's happened there? Um, Mark Foss has just gone over and subscribed to Mel. Well done. Gerard just gone and subscribed. Brilliant. Can you hear that, Mel? Yeah. People are going to subscribe to you. There we are. So there we are. Mel's picked up some subscribe. Craft Beer Lady, her channel's called. <laughs> oh, look at that. Bob Driscoll. Bob O'Driscoll. Brand new membership to the channel. Welcome to the lifeboat. Keep us afloat. Welcome to the lifeboat. Keep us afloat. Bob O'Driscoll, thank you so very much. Bob O'Driscoll, that is amazing. Thank you very much for the membership. Really appreciate it. It just helps us tick along. It just helps us tick along, doing what we do, carry on doing what we do. Amazing. Bob O'Driscoll, look at all the people saying thank you to Bob O'Driscoll. It's amazing. And what it is, Bob, it's your name will go green now. That means you're a member of the channel. So what's happening is that all the people who are supporting me with the green lights, the green names, are now supporting you, Bob O'Driscoll, by saying thank you. What an amazing thing. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Bob. Join us. Yeah. Am I married, JC? Yep, I'm married. Sorry. All married up over here. <coughs> Loads of comments. 310 people tuned in. Amazing. Time for the banner to be cut, Simon. Yeah, I know. I know. I've been really... Well, I haven't been lazy... I'll be honest, I haven't been lazy, I've just been busy. I've just been incredibly, incredibly busy. But, um, you know, I'm not one of these YouTubers. I'm going to be honest. I'm not one of these YouTubers that, that has to have a makeup thing before they come online, you know? I don't need anything like that. I just press record or press start on the live feed and off we go. Tiny Rebels, new Nipa called Hello Goodbye. It's better than an electric boogaloo. Chris Bell, I got you, mate. I got you. 
Um, I'm trying to read all the comments. So many, so many. But I, yeah, I, I'm not one of these like um, you know. You see, some you know, they've had all their hair trimmed and they've had their eyebrows done, and it's like, what well, the hell? Just press start. Press go on the live feed, and off you go. Uh, one more cast. No, I didn't. But, but, I pride myself in doing my research, and I pride myself in. How can I put this? How can I put this? I pride myself in doing my own research and I, I pride myself in being hot on the hot on the, the you know, being being quick. If something comes out, boom, I'm on it, you know? Boom, I'm smack at it, I'm on it. And I pride myself in that. The fact that I got to agree, mate. Daniel, Daniel Bell, thank you very much. I do my research. I do all my research. I go out. I get the product. I review it. Um, and I pride myself in that. And that's all I'm going to say on the matter. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. Um, Paul's beer reviews. <laughs> all over it, like a cheap suit. <laughs> yes, totally. All over it. All over it, totally. You've got to be. You gotta be, you gotta be bang at it. Especially this time of the year, Christmas, you have to be bang at it. That's not me in any way. Because me and Dave, we get on really well. We get on really well, me and Dave. That's not that's not me. Um I'm talking about myself. I'm talking about myself. I pride my in, in myself. I'm proud of myself that I do my own research and I go out and and I try not to look at what other people are doing i just go out and i do my own thing dave's a great guy so my wife has taken over my ninja air fryer using it more than me now hazy haze the air fryer oh my God. what an amazing thing you'll never stop once you start with an air fryer you won't stop you will not stop For, for Halloween, yeah. So I think you could do with some plastic surgery. Maybe, maybe a chin tack or some rhino plasty. Alistair Hollows. What even is any of that stuff? I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm happy turning... I'm, I'm happy slowly turning into a walnut. <laughs> I'm happy slowly turning into a walnut. I'm not one of these for plastic surgery. Absolutely not. Can you imagine me having plastic surgery? I just want to sort these eyes out, you know? I need to sort out these eyes, you know? What the hell? What is all that about? I don't need a nose job, no. No, I'm doing okay. Rhino plastic is a nose job. What? I don't even know what that stuff is. Thanks, Simon. I just subscribed to Craft Beer Lady. Well done, coach. It's an air fryer, just a mini convection oven. Oh, John. John, honestly. That Salter, they're cheap as chips. Salter air fryer. Make sure you get the biggest litre you can. I think it's 20... I think off the top of my head, that's a 25 litre. Get yourself an air fryer, John. Honestly, Salter is the cheapest one. Salter air fryer. Incredible. Incredible. It does chip. You know if you bought like beer battered chips? You, you know, you, you haven't got to add all You know, they, they've already got the... Oh, or, or um, not beer. Beef dripping. If you go to Lidl's, you can get some beef dripping chips. Oh. They are... It's like having pub chips. It's like having pub chips from the air fryer. You could probably use it if you bought three of them. Put them in your bar, in your pub, in, uh, in your in your workplace of work, and you'd probably be able to like do portions of chips on them for for, for people. 
Honestly, tell them, tell them it'll be 20 minutes. Put it on the board. Chips will be 20 minutes. You know, it's not, it, this ain't no McDonald's. And you'll probably sell loads of chips. And yeah, it, it's amazing. That air fryer is incredible. I use it all the time. Chicken nuggets. Oh, <laughs> chicken nuggets are amazing, isn't it? <coughs> Beef dripping versus lard. Joe Morris, five pounds super chat. Simon, have you tried the Walker's sausage roll flavour crisps yet? Yes, I have. I have. Um, just trying to find an opening. Just trying to find a space. A space, an opening to get these. I reviewed them a week ago. I got the other bag here. The power of the sausage. I, I reviewed them a week ago. I just, I've been, been so busy. I've been so busy. I just haven't had time. I haven't had the time. Um, I did toast in here, Friar. <laughs> uh, get the sausage out. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Let's have a look. What is he saying? Uh, how are you doing, Simon? I'm just cooking my spicy meatball pasta. That sounds good. That sounds good. Can you bring me some? Bring me some. Where's the beard gone, Simon? I tell you where the beard went. I was told the other day from a good friend, and he's watching from a good friend, that I looked older than him with my beard and it should come off so <laughs> i was i was what and i thought i gotta do a life and i'm looking like an old man so i whapped it off it took ages it took blooming ages i was like that you know with a little blade the gillette gillette the best a man can get <laughs> i just whipped it it took a from 20 minutes I was like and it was all clogging up with air and I had to get the tough brush out and get the tough brush under the water and clean all of the and I had to uh, 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 20 minutes I was shaving for Simon uh, there is a new perfect draft code kicking around for discounts on the kegs it's 15 PDKT for a 15% discount on a multiple of three kegs a time. What a man. Mark, what a man. Thank you very much, Mark. Appreciate your 15% discount code. What a nice gesture. What a nice gesture to come on, give the discount code for everybody to enjoy. What a lovely gesture. You picked up 50 subscribers? Yeah. My goodness me, Mouse. I mentioned. <laughs> what? I mentioned Mal needed 250 subscribers. She's picked up 50 subscribers. My goodness me. Craft beer lady. 50 subscribers? That's just unheard of. Um, what's the most I've ever picked up? I think I've picked up 100 in a day once. And that's me, like, like at the coal face, you know, like this, doing it all myself, at the coal face. Um, <laughs> but it not, you know, I don't mind helping people out. I don't. I don't mind at all. Uh, what? Alistair Hollows. Alistair Hollows. Are you reading that comment, everybody? Are you reading that comment? Alistair Hollows. That's just put the shivers down me. What is that? Whew. Oh, 
I don't like to hear stuff like that. Um, it just gave me the shivers. Uh, I hope he's okay. Did I go for... <laughs> I just haven't had my hair cut. Uh, Steve Betts, Hannah Brown and Tom Wilson and Art. Ah, Spitfire Callum. Oh, thank you. Right. It's not a very funny joke. That's not a very funny joke. I, I don't like stuff like that. Oh, my goodness me. I don't like that. I really don't. Don't do that to me. That's like... Um, that properly gets under my skin. Whew. Um... I can't, I, I, I'll repeat it to you in private, John. I can't say it over the stream. Um, I can't, no, I can't say it. I can't even bring it back. I'm not going to bring it back. Um, I'll tell you in private, John, um, tomorrow morning. Um, but it's about his well-being. It was about his well-being. And it's like, what? No, 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 let's not cause no internet drama now. Let's not cause no internet drama, but... Um, um, anyway, exactly, Steve Bez. Yeah, anyway, let's move on from that very quickly. Um, trouble the trolls are now making every suspicious about genuine people now. Yeah, that was that was that wasn't, wasn't a very nice thing to say. I didn't like that at all. He just said hello, Simon. He's fine. Um, okay. Did he? I don't even see it. Anyway, let's let's move on. There are some real deadheads on here. Yeah. Um, two the Jack Daniels factory. One said to the other, is this whiskey? And the other friend said, not a whiskey. And robbing a bank. I <laughs> there he is. Mexican milkman. He's actually speaking. So you've swept, switched accounts. I'm here. It was a joke. It got out of hand. Um, Mexican milkman. Only because, like, I went and bought that Bex. <sighs> right. Yeah, um, there we go. Um, John from Lord's Brewing Company. Um, just read Spitfire Callum's comment. It was that very subject that um, the comment came through, and I was like, "What?" So yeah, yeah, don't joke about that kind of stuff. It's not funny. It's really not funny. I don't like it. Um, it would read Spitfire Callum's comment, and you and you'll see exactly. Ah, uh, don't worry. No, no, like no issues. No, no. Don't worry about it. It's just, um, yeah. Right, I got a question though. Um, I bought it. Apparently, it's a new recipe. I bought it because apparently Bex is a new recipe, and a lot of my followers have asked me to review it. Is that right, Mac? Is it a new recipe, or is it just a relaunch of a beer, of a lager? I mean, I I've already reviewed it, so if it's not a re, if it's not a re. <sighs> A new recipe, then, then, then we we just I don't, I don't know, just drink it one night on a, on a live feed. Right, spending my birthday in this current situation, uh, so no better than spending it in the virtual pub instead. Cheers all and happy Tuesday, Negan. Happy birthday, happy birthday to Negan, and I want to say Negan. Over the months and months and months, you've supported us incredibly well. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much for all of your support over the months. You're a star. Thank you, Negan. Cheers, mate. What am I drinking? I'm drinking a um, Jaipur, a Jaipur on the Perfect Draft. Look at all the happy birthdays to Negan. Look at all the happy birthdays to Negan. Amazing.
324 people tuned in. This is incredible. 324 people tuned in. Loads and loads and loads of people wishing Negan a happy birthday. Isn't this a nice, isn't this a nice virtual pub? What a fantastic, fantastic virtual pub we have. Everybody's wishing Negan a happy birthday. I love the togetherness. I really, really love the togetherness on this channel. It is amazing, absolutely amazing. Uh, incredible, absolutely incredible. Trying to read some of these uh, comments here. Is, um Ah, oh, right, yeah. Okay. Yep, happy birthday. Loads of happy birthdays. Loads of happy... Oh, Richard Smith! We got two! Two in a row. Two. Look at that. The happy birthdays for Negan. It's incredible. What a togetherness. An absolute togetherness here at the Stone Grow Virtual Pub. Richard Smith, welcome to the lifeboat. Keep us afloat. Thank you very much, Richard Smith. And Neil Long... Neil Long has put a £2 super chat in saying, Happy birthday, Negan, and good evening, Simon. What a lovely, lovely gesture. Neil Long, you are an absolute star. Thank you very much, Neil Long. Tom Wilson, another one, another super chat from Tom, from uh, a viewer of the channel. This time, Tom Wilson. Happy birthday, Negan. <coughs> Buy a Bex with this. There you go. Hannah Brown, your kebab was amazing. Um, I went to Asda Superstore and they hardly had anything. Right. Okay. We want to keep this going. We want to keep this going. Can we do? Richard Smith saying thank you to all the members. And Joe Biden is just putting a two, two pound super chat. Happy birthday to Negan. Oh, this is amazing. <clears throat> Absolutely amazing. Alan Ray, one pound super chat. Thank you very much, Alan. Can we do? Did you hear about the explosion at the French cheese factory? All that was left was debris. <laughs> That's a funny one, Howard. I like that. Right. 314 people tuned in. 430 likes. Can we do 450? 450 likes. Let's go. Let's go. As Jensen Button said in his 2009 World Championship win as he overtook Kobayashi. Let's go, he said. Let's go. Can we do it? Can we do it? 450 likes. He went on to win the World Championship, Jensen Button. 450 likes for a Tuesday night is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. 450 likes. 437, we're 13 likes away. Come on, let's start the auction. 12 likes away. We're 12 likes away. Hit the like button down below. We're 12 likes away. 11. 11 likes away. Oh my goodness me! What? 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 Look at this. Can I got to get these... I gotta count it down. I'm gonna get Simon Woods incredible, incredible super chat in a moment. But can we get 10 more likes in? 10 more likes. Hit the like button down below. 10 more likes. Let's go, everybody. 441. 441. Hit the like button down below. Gerard, thank you very much. Saying I'm a good man. 443. Seven likes away, not long to go now. There's a like button down in the corner. If you're new to this, there's a like button down in the corner. Hit the like button down below. Let's do 450 likes. 446, we're four likes away. We are four likes away from 450 likes. There goes another one. We got three likes to go. Three likes to go. Three likes to go for 450 likes on a Tuesday night. This is incredible.
it's incredible. One more. 451, we smashed it out the park. Daniel Bales just put in a super chap. Uh, great guy, Simon. Love the Stone Crow. Here's to you and the awesome people of the Stone Crow. Daniel Bale, thank you so very much. Cheers to you for the super chat. We got the membership from Richard Smith. Welcome to the lifeboat. Let's get over to Simon Wood. Um, over the last month, Simon Wood, adding it all up, has probably contributed well over £100. Well over £100 in the last month of this channel. And... I cannot thank him enough. I cannot thank him enough for, for the support, the support that he's put in to this channel. It is incredible. Um, it, it, it really does make me <laughs> stupidly, sopperly emotional. Um, Simon Wood, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I haven't read it yet, but here we go. This one is intended. Thank you for everything you do to create a pub atmosphere amongst your subscribers. This is a great space. Simon, you're making me even more emotional now. You're making me even more emotional now. I just turn my phone on, press start, turn the live feed on, and away we go. And I answer as many comments as I can. And I talk to as many people as I can in the comments. And I try and have a few beers in between comments. And I have a laugh. And I run to the toilet. And, and it's just... It's been a really, really, really weird year for everybody. It's been... It's been a really, really weird, weird year for everybody. And, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to all of you. It means, such, it means, it means, it means everything. It means absolutely everything to me. It means everything. <sighs> Fry. Fry your eyes, Steve Benzis, fry your eyes, mate. Right. Um, I watch many live streams as I don't watch any live TV. Yeah, that's the thing. This is the thing, uh, Simon Wood. It, it, you know, it, it's just, it, 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 it's changed. The world has changed. The, world, the, 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 viewing, the viewing world world has changed. I got really annoyed with live TV. It was like the same stuff all over again. Right, Paul Goggin. Cheers, Simon. Can you do a £1 beer best of holiday season special? Yeah. Thank you very much for the £5 super chat. And the biggest hug if we ever meet. Absolutely, Simon Wood. Um, cheers, Simon. A £1 beer. A £1 special. What can I do? Paul Goggin. I'll have to have a look at them. Do they still exist, the one pound special beers? I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting as many comments as I possibly can. I'm reading as many comments as I can. I apologize if I miss any, there's so many. Because I've scrolled back through super chats and, and, all of these other things, I've, I've missed a lot of comments. So if I've missed your comment, I apologise. I get so many coming through. Um, it has been a great outlook during lockdown and has helped me focus. Lord's Brewing Company, thank you. Uh, on keeping my business alive, seeing people were actually interested in what we're, we're making. Lord's Brewing Company, yeah. Yeah. Massively interested in, in what you guys are doing. Massively interested. Cheers to everybody. We're all here because we're interested in beer. Good quality beer. Cheers to that. No, I don't think so. Do I think Ole will survive at United? 
I, I I don't think so. I think it's 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 more. It's above Ollie. All of the problems are above. Ollie Gunner Solskjaer. They're all above. It's not his problem. It's not his problem. It's a problem upstairs. All of the chairman and management and it's a massive problem up there. Um, uh, of course, what happens is that. Um, what happens is that it's what happens with Leeds. Remember, remember. I mean, they're back in the Premier League now, and and everybody seems to have forgotten about Leeds United's debt. Um, but I think what will happen at Man United is is that the debt will swallow them up. The, the and I, I I'm I'm not here to I'm not here to you know. No, 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 type of thing. I'm not. I'm not here for that. I'm just, unfortunately, I'm just speaking the truth. Um, I just think that the the the, the debts will just keep growing, and they won't be able to uh, buy the the most amazing players as they once did, and, and then the debt keeps growing, and it gets worse, and then they end up getting relegated. What will happen? I'll tell you exactly what will happen. It will be. It will be exactly the same as what happened to Leeds United. Leeds United went away. Championship, League One, even. They were in League One. And they hung about there for a few years. And then everybody forgot about the debt. Who can remember? Who can remember Leeds United Football Club's debt? Nobody. Nobody. It's a fairy tale story now, but honestly, that, that club was in like financial, like it was it was stupid the debt they were in. But nobody talks about it anymore. Where's it gone? Where did all that go? You know? That's what will happen. They'll they'll eventually get relegated. The glaciers will go away. They'll hang around in the championship or whatever for 10 years. And then they'll come back up as like the, the rose garden smelling wonderful. And where did, where did the deck go? Where did the deck go? You know, it's one of those kind of things, you know. But if you do, is Poland next? Is it worth or should I pause? Daniel Rose. Polish craft beer is incredible. Honestly, Polish craft beer is incredible. If Beer 52 give you a decent box, you're going to love it. I'd be more excited for the Poland box than I would be for the New York box. And that's my true... Lord's Brewing Company, football's killing the watchers because they're so boring. So boring in knocking the ball back around in defence, back to the goalie. Goalie pass it to the defenders. Defenders pass it around the defenders. Defenders pass it back to the goalie. What am I watching? What am I watching? What football's this? Where's the flying wingers that drop a shoulder and knock it past someone and fly down the wing? Where's that football gone? What happened to that? Football for the viewers. What happened to that? There was nothing better. Nothing better than watching someone like Andre Konchalskis drop his shoulder, knock the ball past the defender, run 30 yards down the pitch, grab hold of that same ball, stop on a sixpence, turn the ball, knock it into the box. Wingers midfielders, strikers running into the box, you know, trying to get their head on that ball. What happened to that football? What happened to that football? I'm I'm really I'm really bored. I'm properly bored of football at the moment. And this was never gonna be a football thing tonight. We've only just started talking about football, but it was never gonna be a football thing tonight. But but it's really boring. Has he released your yet? Not yet. Oh, Mel, Mel just said, did you hear it? 
because she's picked up 50 subscribers from you guys tonight. Uh, I'm not going to release it tonight. It's too late, isn't it? Yeah, it's too late. It's too late. Mel said she's going to edit it tonight. Yeah, I'm uh, Thornbridge Jiper, perfect draft. Only fair. Only fair because um, Mel let me have a drink of her Francis Canna and it's done me ever so well. Uh, Francis Canna video has done me ever so well. She bought the keg. Um, right, I missed the super chat. Mac Foster, I got it. Bit skint at the minute with Crimbo, but will support when I can. All the best to all at the Stone Crow. Love you all. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it, Mac Foster. I remember Spurs being in Division 2 and Man United being pro from Division 2 in 1975. It'll happen. Mark my words, it will happen. The, and the debt will disappear. Popol is going to do the same way as Formula 1. People will get disillusioned with it and walk away in droves. Yeah, but I still quite like Formula 1. I'm still a big Formula 1 fan. It's very different. But I... I understand what you're saying. That whole paid drivers thing annoys the hell out of me. There's the talent. The, the talent don't come through anymore, do they? Uh, George says, where in Wales are you from and what is the best beer you have reviewed or tried. George, I'll tell you where I'm from. I'm from Barry in South Wales. I had to think about that then. Um, from Barry. Best beer in the world. I don't know. It changes from month to month. It changes from month to month to month. Mel's going to release her Jaipur in the morning. F1 hasn't been the same since the V10s went well out. Yeah, it's, um... How's the Wrexham story? North. That's North Wales, Travis. So Travis is from Australia. Um, I'm going to blame the dog for that one. Um, Travis um, from Australia. Wrexham is north. I'm right on the south coast. Um, so... I'm down here, there, up there. I, I, I've watched a little bit about it. It's quite, quite interesting, quite an interesting story. But um, I'm not overly. Uh... Did I drink that Malmut? I better get another one. It's a right mess in this kitchen. I don't. It upsets me. It upsets me when this kitchen's the mess of this in. It drives me, drives me bonkers. Right, I'm having another Malamut from Lord's Brewing Company tonight. I did a tour of Wales last week. Went to Rex and Bang Avarice with Swansea. Enjoy, I hope you enjoyed. You like the New York box? I didn't get that one. I didn't get that one. Um, our our sponsorship with with beer beer fifty two ran out. Oh, what's going on? Can I say goodnight? Good night. Yes. Sleep well. Oh. Come on. Off you go. My little daughter there. She wanted a kiss. Good night. And well, I'll. I'll Come and you won't even know, but I'll tuck you in when you're in, sleeping in your bed tonight. Uh, Gerald, great Paul. Thank you very much, Gerald. So, what are we all drinking? It's Tuesday night. F1 should have big crashes. Makes it entertaining. Welsh accent is probably the friendliest sounding ever. Mark, um, yeah, there comes a point, though. There comes a point. There does come a point. When it's too strong, it's like, 
<laughs> it's a bit. Uh, uh, please send me a link. Uh, Nazo or Naz050 has said, Lord's Brewing Company, please send me a link for the offer on the beers. First time to check your beers. Thanks. There we go. So a little bit more business for Lord's Brewing Company. I told you all Simon's a true housewife for Barry. <laughs> uh, Jamie Pret, it's got to be open all hours. Uh, the David, Jason, Ronnie Barker combination has to be the absolute peak of comedy. It was good. It was good. I loved open all hours. It was very, very good. Um, I can't really hear this Welsh, Welsh accent. It's not, it's not the strongest. It's not the strongest. Um, I've practised um <laughs> practiced my r's and my t's and you know I, I try my best to speak normally <laughs> just having a laugh just having a laugh i know i got a lot of welsh compatriots watching tonight i'm just having a bit of fun And not deliver them at all. That were those twenty-one million pound jobs. What is going on? What is going on? My goodness me! Eh? What is going on in the world today? Blimey, heck! They must be printing it. They must be printing this stuff. How come we haven't got hyperinflation? Can you remember the days of hyperinflation? You remember the in the 1970s? I'm not that old, really. I'm, I was born in 79. But we had hyperinflation where you go to the shop one day and buy a cabbage and it was 20p. You'd go there the next day and it was 30p. And it, was, it went up by a third. And that doesn't sound like a lot in this day and age. But it was massive. It was massive back in the day. And that hyperinflation created lots and lots of housing booms. Because all of a sudden, the cabbage was worth more than your house. Because it kept on doubling in price over, over like three weeks. So you could buy a terraced house one week and then in three weeks time, you, you could buy... Um, the cabbage was worth more than your house. Chancellor Simon. But in a way, in a very small way, it was a way to inflate your way out of trouble. I think that's... It's on the cards. It's going to happen again. It's going to happen again. We're going to inflate our way out of trouble. And that's scary because I'm on one of those mortgages where it follows the interest rate. So it's pretty scary, you know. The man's elect, Daniel. Oh, uh, right. <sighs> How much were fleshy blood orange in 1979? The year I was born. How much was a fleshy blood orange? In 1979. Simon, tell me a fight story. Um, Romani, can I have a toilet? Can I use a toilet? Um, I haven't had a fight in, in a minute. It's been a long time since I had a fight. But... Correct, Simon. Only way to get out of huge debt, repay it with huge austerity, or inflate it away. Always a red, yeah. We are we are in for some serious, serious hyperinflation. I'm going to the toilet. I don't want to depress anybody. So where are we? Five hundred likes. Five hundred likes. Hit the like button down below. Come on, five hundred likes. Four hundred and seventy-two. Can we hit the like button? Can we hit the like button? 500 likes, hit the like button down below. Come on, let's do it. 500 likes. And I'm going to go to the toilet. We're 22 away. We've just picked up 10 likes, just like that. Just like that. 10 likes. 
amazing guys can we do 500 likes so there's a like button either down there or down there you can either like the video or dislike it or like the video and dislike it down there whatever whatever corner it is in um 483 483 likes hit the like button down below i'm gonna go to the toilet i'll be back in a moment Four hundred and eighty five likes. When you're ready, I'm back. Four hundred and eighty five likes. Where are we? Can we do it? Five hundred. I got the crisps. I'm double, double sacking. I'm double sacking tonight, guys. Or double stacking, whatever the. 491, we're nine likes away. Come on, nine likes away. Eight likes away. We are eight likes away. Eight likes away. Eight likes away. Six. Six likes. Three. Oh my goodness me, we are three likes away. Two. Two likes away. Two likes away from 500 likes. 15 years young with other beers. Mac, you're a star. I had I had a shave. I had to have a shave. I just got to get the angle grinder now on these yellow teeth. <laughs> it looks like I'm missing one. It's still there. 502 likes. 502 likes. Right. Weirdest thing I've ever seen. Witch on a broomstick when I was a kid. Took the dog for a walk on Halloween. Looked up, there was a witch on a broomstick flying through the sky. Never seen anything weirder than that in my life. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Travis. Thanks, mate. <laughs> uh, we're celebrating because my mother-in-law has just got a new job at Heathrow Airport. She has been hired to kickstart the, the Jumbo Jets. <laughs> Rick on the roof. 
Can anybody remember Rick on the Roof? Google Rick. <laughs> Google Rick on the Roof. It was Joe Biden. Roof. Rick on the roof. It was a bloke in Barry. It made national headlines. Um, I think, don't get me wrong, I think he didn't pay his mortgage and they wanted to evict him. So he smashed the hole in Barry. Uh, he smashed the roof. He smashed a hole in the roof, climbed up on the roof, refused to leave. He sat up on the roof for like eight months. Eight months he was up there on the roof. He built a tent up there. People were giving him food parcels. They were all like, yeah, hey, go on, Rick. Go on, Rick. Guess who's back? Jim McDonald. Back again. Hello, hello, Jim McDonald. Rick on the roof. Watching the video. <laughs> he stayed up on his roof. In Barry. It was another Barry, crazy Barry story. Was I taking in beer? I was in my early 20s then. I was probably likely to throw stones at him. See you, Hannah. <clears throat> Mexican milkman's going as well. Love you all. See you later, Hannah. Hussein, show us your favorite beer glass. Well, wow. Hussein. Now, I'm going to get a bit technical, if you don't mind. It depends what beer goes in the beer glass. So, my favourite Weizen, what glass would that be? A Weiss beer glass. IPA, a couple of different IPA style glasses. I prefer... For IPA, I prefer this style. For Imperial Stouts, I prefer this style. For Barley Wines, I prefer this style. For Imperial Porters, I prefer this style. For Belgian Triples, I prefer this style. So all in all, this is probably my favourite style of glass. I just like holding the glass by the stem. I like swirling. I just like looking at the beer that sort of thing and that is a vice beer put a vice beer in there the vice beer is spoiled it is it's spoiled a beer glass video mm.
kind of Guinness Zero Zero alcohol free and feel crap. Turns out they recalled them last week. Unfit consumption. Oh my god, you're telling me. Oh no. I hope you're okay. Has asked me would I consider a non-alcoholic beer review I did a few about three months ago <coughs> I did about two or three they really bored me I'm not being funny Anne I'm not being look at me I drink lots of beer alcoholic beer um, and I just I just find it for me, I either drink beer or I drink coffee. Or if I'm here during the day, I'll drink orange squash. Which is this stuff. I drink a lot of this stuff, orange squash. I drink a lot of tea. I drink a lot of coffee. I don't. I don't go, I don't drink water, no I don't drink water, I don't go, oh, I fancy a beer and I want it non-alcoholic, I just, I just, people might get it, people might understand it, I just don't understand it, I just simply, I, I don't understand non-alcoholic beer, I'd rather, i just dra rather drink a cup of tea. Uh, when I was a designated driver, I drank water only. It's no for me to drink fake. Yeah, Simon Wood. Yeah, it's. It doesn't taste right. It doesn't taste right. It will never taste right. It will never taste right. You can do all the magical stuff in the world to try and make your beer taste like a beer and it be non alcoholic, but. But it just doesn't taste the same. Um, how, uh, always a red, serious question, I'm going to give you a serious answer. How are, uh, or we going to get through dry January? Serious question, how will we see you, Simon? Um, <clears throat> I'm just having one or two minor, minor health issues that I just need to sort out it's all minor nothing too crazy it's the longest time in my life where I've drank beer on a consistent basis I've been drinking beer on a consistent basis now since this whole craziness started I never go two days I never go two days without a beer. And my body's starting to creak. My body's starting to ache. My body's starting to tell me to slow down. Uh. <laughs> Simon Wood, no, I'm okay. Simon Wood, touch wood. I'm all right there. I'm all right there. Um... But my body's starting to creak, my body's starting to ache and I've got a few pains here and there and it's all down to beer. I've drank a lot of beer, I've drank a lot of beer. 
and I'm going to have January off. Spitfire Keller, I'm still walking six miles a day. I'm still doing all the exercising in the world. But my body is screaming. My body is screaming at me. If your body warns you of every, anything, then my body's warning me. So, you know, my body's like waving the flag at me, the red flag. Stop. Stop what you're doing. I'm determined. I'm determined, I'm determined, I'm determined, I'm determined to get to the end of the year. I am absolutely determined to get to the end of the year. But I'm having January off. I am having January off. And I will be back in February. There'll still be plenty of videos. There will be plenty of normal videos going up to the channel. But I'm having a month off from the live feeds. I missed a couple of super chats. Yeah, I got it. I'm just um, just talking about my health. I thought, I thought you'd be interested. <laughs> right. Mexican Milkman, £1.99. Hi, Si. Can you review water? Cheers. Uh, not right now. Uh, Lord's Brewing Company, £5 super chat. Uh, can we tomorrow do something kind for someone? A random act of kindness, a phone call, some words of encouragement, help someone, care for someone. That's a £5 Super Chat message from Lord's Brewing Company. Thank you, John and Lord's. Alan Ray, £1 Super Chat. Travis Wilson saying you need a good detox. Yeah, a lot of people are agreeing. A lot of people offering their support. Thank you. Um, just just drink tea on a Tuesday night. <coughs> it's called being forty one. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jim McDonald. You better not have January twenty two off um, booze when you get an invite for my fiftieth. No, oh, well, well, no, well, no, uh, Mister Beer Hooligan. I will be at your fiftieth. Pam saying, good for you, time for your family too. Uh, I'm doing a dry January with you. Hope nothing too serious. Uh, always a red, just just creaking, just just creaking, aching, pains. It's, it's not good, it's not good, but um, we'll be all right. Uh, you need to take it easy, Simon. <laughs> <coughs> I do worry about you. Thank you, John at Lords. Uh, Simon, have you seen the 20... Yeah, I've seen them beers at Brewdog. Uh, <laughs> Simon Wood has just put everybody. It's my round. Matthew Morris. Have I ever revisited the Brewdog vs. Cloudwater New England IPA since you reviewed it? No, I haven't. Perhaps I should. I hope it's as good. If not, I will cry. Wow. <laughs> Just reading, reading Travis's uh, comment, that made me laugh. It might be a fat free February. <laughs> Body needs more to rebuild after, yeah. You're probably aching after all the work you put into that fireplace. Luminance, yeah, it may be that. I don't think so. It may be that. It's been a long year. Lots of construction on the house. Lots of channel. I 
I need to cut this out. My biggest problem, I have a few beers and I get the crisps out. I can't help it. I cannot help it. I'll polish. It's a 250 gram bag of crisps. I've not polished them all off tonight, but I must have done about 100 grams of potato chips <laughs> tonight alone. Gerard, thanks for tuning in, Gerard. See you later, mate. Thanks for your support. Thanks for the membership. Really appreciate it. In January, <coughs> your live stream is going to be like Simon gets a carnic irrigation live in the stone truck when Matt is sticking some little hose pipe up your. <laughs> We might do something. It might be a, a Pepsi Cola night. Can you imagine that? Jane, yeah. Crisps, chocolate, I'm terrible. My phone just told me I'm down to 20% battery. <laughs> Every last crumb. There we go. Plug the phone in. It doesn't tell you. iPhones don't tell you if they're charging or not. Weird. <laughs> Simon Wood. I have no stop button with chips or chocolate. I'm the same. I am the same. I'm terrible. Yeah. That was the moment, the beer hooligan, that was the moment Pepsi <coughs> overtook Coke in sales. I watched. Right, Pam. See you later, Pam. Sorry, sorry, I shouldn't have got you the Chris. Oh, no, I'm happy for the crisps. I love I love the crisps, Daniel Bale. Um, I didn't eat them ones. I had the... I love these. These are blooming great. The Mackey's crisps of Scotland. Oh, they're amazing. My problem while COVID has been happening is I've been I've been sleeping so I've been drinking to pass out Shane Gibson. Um yeah, there's been an element of that. There's been an element of that. Um at the beginning I was worried. I was worried at the beginning. Um But what I've decided to do, Shane, is not look at any news. I don't read any news. I don't watch any news anymore. I haven't watched the news in about three or four years, to be honest. I just... If it was a way of the 
government to control people. Oh, the girlfriend's awake. Simon Wood, go and have, go and have a chat with her. Simon Wood, go and have a chat with a girlfriend. Um, if it's a way of the government to control you, then they do it through the news. They will definitely do it through the news. For me, news equals control. News equals control. It's an awful thing. You know, they'll tell you, like... You know, how many times have you heard, oh, alcohol's bad, oh, alcohol this, alcohol that, alcohol... And it's only because they want to put the tax up. The tax goes through the roof because, oh, it's bad, oh, alcohol's bad, you know. Um, it's just taxation. It's just taxation. You will not hear the same sorrow, crybaby stories if you were living in a country like Germany. Because they don't, they decide not to tax the, the, their fantastic culture, the, their heritage. They, they decide not to tax that to the high heavens. They decide to leave that alone. And, and actually, oh, it's employing people. People are in work. They're making beer. They're making vats. They're making boil kettles. They're making brewery equipment. Oh, there's the man that needs to drive the truck to deliver the beer. He needs a job. And all of a sudden, lots and lots of people need a job because people are drinking beer. And that is what fails. That is what the government in the UK fails to see in the UK. Is Actually, it creates an awful lot of work. The, any industry, beer industry, the licorice industry, the chocolate industry... It creates jobs. The moment you start taxing that and getting greedy, all your jobs are gone. Everyone's down the dole office signing on. The government are not getting their tax revenue anymore. Nobody's better off. Nobody is better off. Uh, do not watch. Yeah, yeah. I I will not. I agree, Mac. I agree, Mac. I will not. I refuse. I absolutely refuse to tune into that awful, awful, mind-bending drivel that is the BBC. Refuse. I'll tell you a story. I told a story earlier on. And I'll tell the story again to Daniel Bale. I told this sto story to Daniel Bale. Back in 2018, <coughs> back in 2018, I was contacted by the head of YouTube UK. Lovely lady. Can't remember her name now, but lovely lady. She said to me, um, you're invited to the Welsh YouTubers um, get together. We're going to put on a we're going to put on a a do a party. We're going to invite all the channels in: ITV, BBC, Cardiff TV, all these wonderful things. We're going to get them. We're going to get them all in. So. I turned up over Cardiff Bay, really posh do, really, really posh do. I turned up at this Norwegian church, a timber-built Norwegian church where this event was hosted. And Google stroke YouTube put on a massive spread. I mean, the biggest spread I've ever seen sandwiches baguettes crisps everything the spread was huge 
they were so friendly, so friendly. And I remember the, the hostility when the broadcasters turned up. They turned in on their phones like this, on their phones. They, they just weren't interested looking around the room. The big YouTube, the big, there's some big Welsh YouTubers. There's some big Welsh, Welsh YouTubers. I remember they went on the, the, the stage. They were on the stage first and they were being interviewed. They were being interviewed by somebody who was, in, you know, a professional interviewer asking them all sorts of questions about their YouTube channel. And bearing in mind, bearing in mind, these people were Welsh millions of subscribers on some of these channels the first three and i looked around the room and i looked at the back where these people were paid they were paid to record and document this event and they were all stood back like this again i could tell by their body language i could tell by their body language they were all stood back like this, not against the cooker, going against the um, electric thing, but they were like this, all like this. And I got 20-20 vision. I have got 20-20 vision. And I swear, 80% of their cameras were not turned on. I never saw a red light. I never, I look back, I never saw a red light. They weren't even recording the event. They were paid to be there. They weren't even recording the event. And I've got a massive, massive disappointment in myself that I, when they caught, when they got rid of the big three, when three of the small, I was a small YouTuber. I still am a small YouTuber. When they got us on the, the stage, my biggest, here we go, I've got it, I've got the word. My biggest regret to this day, my biggest regret this day was to, that I just sat and I answered the questions that I was asked to answer. My biggest regret is that I didn't stand up in my chair as I do here on the Stone Crow. I am a, you know, I'm an outspoken person. I am an outspoken person. My biggest regret is that I didn't stand up and go, hey, you guys over there, you know, what are you doing? You're not even recording. You're not even recording this, this event. You are paid to be here by taxpayers' money. You are paid to be here. You're not even recording this event. It's not even going to make the news. And do you know the worst thing? The head of YouTube UK was facing us and, and she was really engaged and she was really up for this event. And she spent all of her time facing us, the YouTubers. And she was so impressed by what we were saying and whatever. And part of me wanted to say, I didn't want to burst her bubble. I did, and I didn't. I didn't want to burst her bubble. I, I didn't want to, to, to say, you know, these fucking pricks. They're, they're not interested. They are not interested at all. And I tell you what happened afterwards when the interviews had finished. Um, I don't even care what he's talking about. I'm enjoying the passion. As soon as that, as soon as they were obliged, as soon as that obligation, as soon as that obligation to be there was gone, they set up their cameras. They had nothing to eat. YouTube put up a fantastic spread of food. She knew. I don't think so, David. I don't think so. I was so upset. I was so upset. I was so angry. 
I was so angry. They packed up their stuff and they left without eating a thing. They didn't eat a thing and this spread must have cost thousands of pounds. It was, it was incredible, it was beautiful. And that's the moment where I went, I will never, I will never, as long as I live, as long as I live, I will never watch your news again. And I haven't. I haven't watched BBC News for over two years. I have not watched the BBC News for over two years. I refuse. When we went back to our rooms, we had an hour turnover before we had to go out for our evening meal. Beautiful. We, we, were, we were treated fantastic by Google and YouTube. Come out, we went to Cardiff Castle in the evening. Put your best clothes on, turn up, we'll feed you, we'll drink you. It was incredible. We had an hour. And in that hour, everybody was like, what's going to be on the Welsh news? Is it going to make the Welsh news? I, I turned it on half expecting well no not even half expecting the blooming camera wasn't even turned on the camera wasn't even turned on do you know what they played do you know what they played i'll tell you right now what the bbc wales news that night chose to play dog eats sand on beach i cannot take my dog to the beach because he eats the sand that was the that was the, and, and I was I just wanted to rip my hat my I just wanted to rage and they were gone they were gone nowhere to be seen you'll never see these people again you know have your taxpayers money they will never be seen again they played dog eats sand on beach that was the main headline of the night disgusting people absolutely disgusting disgusting people i have not watched their news since over two years do you know why because the real reason is because we are the competition we are the competition to live tv we are the competition. We are over here doing our own things and we are taking viewership. We are taking viewership away from television and they don't like it. For the 265 people tuned in here tonight, that is 265 people less who are watching live TV and they do not like it one bit. And now I'm going to get off my soapbox. <laughs> my name is Dog, you're born of dog food. I've been over on by ants. We don't have to chase him off, but couldn't handle poor dog. Survivors only in pain later. I'd rather watch you anytime, mate. I'd rather be here, currently reading a horror book in Braille. <laughs> Something bad. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> oh, Paul's beauty, I love it. I love it. Oh, well, a dog ate some sand. When did this happen? Can't believe it. I bloody missed it. <laughs> uh, even Sean Ryder and Bez have a YouTube channel called Call the Cops. Get on it, yeah. Don't feel, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Dog eats sand. Oh, James Cooper, I'm not lying. I am not lying. We were all, we were all getting ready to go out for our evening at the Cardiff Castle. We all, were all waiting for our evening, and we all had the telly on in the background. There was, a, there was people hoping 
more than others. And that all, that's all it was. Dog eats sand on beach. Or, or, uh, and it was incredible. Um, question time. What was the last straw last week when they were in Dover and did not mention it? Let me go. In their thousands. They didn't even address the subject. Yeah. I won't watch it. I, I will not watch. I will not watch that television anymore. The problem, and here's one for people who are, let's say, 35 and over. 35-year-olds and over. The problem for us, the problem for us is we've been mentally tuned that that screen is a live telly. And that's the problem. Our brains go, this screen, this 50 inch screen, should be tuned into live telly. And, and that's how we've been hardwired. That's the problem. It's so difficult to break that. It, and they know that. They know that. It is impossible. It is really, really, really difficult to break that that habit, the habit of a lifetime of thinking the TV is, it's so difficult to break, it's so difficult to break, to think this TV needs to be tuned into something live or needs to be tuned in and <sighs> only has four channels and channel I came. Um, the, I, I wish I was born in a different generation. I wish I was a lot younger. Because my kids, we tuned our kids out of television when they were born. Our kids do not understand television. They do not understand live t TV. They do not understand that they have to get this news from turning on their 50 inch TV. They simply do not understand that. I brought my kids up, and I say this apprehensively because there will be people who disagree with me, but I, br I brought my kids up to go, hey, look at this screen. It's a blank canvas. It can be whatever you want it to be. And, and, and that's, that's the message. That's the message that that I'm trying to get out and I, I, to my kids, because I'll always, I'll never be able to break it because I'm too old. I'm too old to be able to break that mindset of that thing on the wall needs to be tuned into live television. I have broken it, of course. But in the back of my mind, there will always be that, what, you know, you know, what, even, even family. The problem is, is family. My mum will ring, oh, have you seen that on the telly? And I'll go, no. And my mum will go, why? Or my dad will phone, oh, have you seen this programme on the telly? And I'll go, no, I haven't. I don't watch telly. And, and, and the same goes for, for aunties and uncles and sisters and brothers they think you're a bloody oddball they think you're a bloody oddball because you're not tuning into these these like things that everybody else watches i couldn't tell you a character apart from phil mitchell of course i mean i eastenders i i, I could probably recognize phil mitchell the rest of the cast, I wouldn't have no idea. I haven't watched EastEnders in 15 years. Coronation Street, I wouldn't have a clue. I wouldn't have a clue. Wouldn't have a clue. If, you, if I walk past somebody... if I say, say I was walking down the street with my sister. She would be going, oh my God, it's that man! You know, and I'd be like, who, who, who? And that's the difference. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's the... Uh, Jeremy, yeah, he's one, isn't he? 
I smoke Dr. Yaz on. Makes my blood boil. Piers and Dr. Uh, can do one too. I don't think I'll trust anyone who refers to us. An expert, yeah. Oh, Big Kev. It's always about alcohol, isn't it? Ooh, the problems with alcohol. Ooh, the problems with dementia. The problems with mental health when you drink alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just want your tax. You just want your tax. Tell you about tax. I'll tell you all about tax now. I don't understand tax. People talk to me about tax. For me, tax is the things that you nail into stairs to keep your um, to keep your carpet in place. That's for me. That's tax. That's tax. You tack your your stairs with tax to keep your carpet in place. I've got no one, no other understanding of tax. It's just to nail your carpet in place on the staircase. No TV. Makes it easy. Let's be honest. You spend so much time watching stuff you don't actually like. Uh, at least with YouTube, you, you find your own interest. Lee Williams. Yeah, totally. No one comes out. No reason. No money back. No guarantee. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the real life. Tessa just released a ton of IPA picked up today. Tastes like G2O, my goodness me. I don't watch TV, I just turned 39 last month. I just work, spend time with my family and work on music and drink heavy beers, cool. Simon, you have a slight look of Martin. <laughs> Luminance, I got no idea who Martin is. Uh, ever noticed how there is nothing good happening to anyone? So. It's all doom and gloom. Same as the news. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. I remember I was watching this. When it went live on the event. This is hilarious. Um, YouTube, Netflix. Just yet. Yeah. Right, where are we? Oh, it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. Can we do 560 likes? 560 likes. It's 10 o'clock. We've had a fun filled night tonight at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. YouTube and Netflix and you've been seeing Sky. Yeah, Spitfire Callum, absolutely. 557, three likes to go. Three, one like to go, one like to go. We're flying again. Oh my good, 561. Should we push it? That was really easy. Should we do 570? 570 likes. Hit the like button down below. 570 likes. Imagine if this was my United Age. And now YouTube clips from Simon's life feed all over. For us all to watch the essay storm the embassy. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Love it. Brew York beer. Hello, Brew York. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I got a beer. I got, I got two beers. Don't go anywhere. This is two of your beers. Right. Daniel Bale, just today. Brew York beer. Just today, Daniel Bale got me these beers with this message on this note. Thanks for making the current situation we're all in. Easier for us all, Simon. Um, you're a top guy. When I found your channel, I was at my lowest point in life. But finding the Stone Crow really has helped me. Always will support. However, 
I can, mate. Thanks for doing what you do. Cheers. Enjoy the beers. There's the name of the beers he's got me there. A couple of Brew York beers. But that's his note. So, Brew York, if you're here... Hey, bro, how are you getting I'm missing a catch of the Brew York Festival, yeah? Um, so, we got... Daniel Bale gave me your Nuba. I'm looking forward to this. It's your original New England IPA. 6.6% ABV. I'm looking forward to this one. But I'm going to get this one done first. I'm going to get this one done first. This one is called Nightmare of Brew York 2020. Uh, good session beer. Um... Nightmare of Brew York 2020, a coffee and walnut cake imperial milk stout at 9.8% ABV. Look at that. Look at that. Love it. Look at that. That'll be coming, of course, before Christmas. There's no point, Dobo, Dobo, sorry, what does that even mean, Dobo? Um, anyway, this will, of course, be coming before Christmas. Um, I want to get it out before Christmas. I'll get this one out. I'll probably get this one out before Christmas as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for, th thanks to Daniel Bale today for hooking me up with these beers. Absolutely amazing. Right. I'm going to finish off this Malamut from Lord's Brewing Company. And I'm going to say a massive thank you. We did 570 likes. We did 570 likes. Um, oh, um, Brew York Beer. Check your messages on Instagram, Simon. Dobo has contacted you. Okay. Um, I'm not very, yeah, I, I, I've, uh, I'm not very good when it, <laughs> when it comes to Instagram messages. I will have a look. I'm on my phone right now, but I will have a Brew York beer. I will have a look at my messages. I'm, I'm a bit rubbish. I'm a bit rubbish. I'm a bit old-fashioned and rubbish. I will have a look. Thank you. Just don't you know this. Right, okay. Thank you all for the support tonight. We have not gone below 200 people. We've gone as far as 350 people tuned in at any one point tonight. That is incredible. We've got 572 likes and we've done really well tonight with your support. We've picked up a lot of new members on the channel. We've had lots of fantastic super chats on the channel. It's been a really, really lovely, lovely night. And Negan saying thank you for a brilliant birthday night. Negan, I understand your situation. You can't go to the pub. You've come to the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. And everybody's come here as well to give you birthday messages, which is fantastic. So um, thanks to Daniel Byrne as well. Absolutely fantastic. Um, we just, We just hope... Happy birthday, Negan, from Paul. We get messages all the time. Um, not feeling so good, feeling low. and, and I, You've helped us. And I just think, again, I'll say it again. I just press record on the camera. I just, there's nothing planned. There's nothing planned here at the Stone Crow. I don't plan anything. I press record, I press start to the live feed, I answer your comments, we have a chat, we have a few beers, and and it, the conversation goes where it would go in a pub. The conversation can, can go over there, the conversation can go over there, it can go, you know, the conversation can go, can go anywhere. It's a pub, it's a virtual pub. And I thank you all so very much for tuning in. It's been a wonderful night. 
I'll see you all Friday. I love every single one of you. Seven o'clock, Stone Crow Virtual Pub. In the meantime, before Friday, we got some big videos coming. We've got some big, big videos coming. I would really appreciate it if you tuned into the videos. We've got some big videos coming. Thanks for watching. Tune in over the next few days. We've got some great stuff coming. And of course, Friday night, Stone Crow Virtual Pub with myself and Craft Beer Lady. Cheers. Love you all.